Since 1890, cadets from the long gray line at West Point have strapped on cleats and pads to play football for Army. The glory years were in the 1950s when Red Blake's Army teams produced national championships and Heisman Trophy winners. Mikey Stadium has been home to Army football for close to 90 years, and it remains one of the great game day venues in college football. Today, from the United States Military Academy at West Point, it's Army's home opener at Mikey Stadium. to Mikey Stadium, West Point, here on the banks of the Hudson River in a picturesque and perfect day for our season debut of Army football here on CBS Sports Network. Today's matchup between the 1-1 Northern Illinois Huskies and the 0-1 Black Knights of Army is being brought to you in high definition by LG. It is a sun-drenched day here at West Point, and moments ago, the Black Knights, the 2012 version, making their way onto the turf here at Mikey Stadium, looking to even their season record at one and one. Welcome upstairs to the broadcast booth, everybody. My name is Ben Holden. It is a privilege and an honor to be with you here on CBS Sports Network for our Army football package this season. I'll be joined momentarily by Randy Cross once we tell you about a record-setting year here on CBS Sports Network in which we will have all seven of Army's home games, Stony Brook in two weeks, Boston College, Kent State, and Ball State in a busy month of October. And the highlight game certainly in November on the 3rd against the Falcons of Air Force. And we'll close it out the 17th against Temple here. Will the Black Knights all game set for 12 noon kickoffs just like today. As I mentioned, Randy Cross, no stranger to the service academies and Army football, Navy football as well. And Randy, certainly there is a lot of pressure on this Army team here today. It's not just here at West Point, it's globally. Well, you know, expectations are a funny thing, but there's a lot less humor to expectations when they're coming from four-star generals and from around the world, from all the alumni of, the, of this military academy. I think this team has to play for themselves and has to get a lot of the expectations out of their head. Well, they lost last week 42-7 to at San Diego State. They're certainly looking to rebound, and it won't be easy against Dave Doran's Northern Illinois Huskies. They are one of the winningest teams they are the winningest team in the MAC in the last 10 years, and they have done a great job of winning games, winning key games, and being an ex-player, Super Bowl winner. What's it like coming off a championship season? Well, like you mentioned, this is a team that's used to success. Last two years, they're one of 10 teams in the entire country, FBS level, that's won 11 games. So they know what it takes, and what it really takes, it takes that year, you put it behind you from the first day you start what happened last year means absolutely nothing. Well said, and the third member of our broadcast team, it's the fourth year we've done it here at Army, our cadet sideline reporter, and from Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania, it's cadet Brad Strimmel. Brad, welcome. Hey, I couldn't be more excited to be here with you guys today, and I'm speaking for myself and the 4,600 cadets you see standing behind me. Just to give you an idea of what our day was like already, we had a 0-5 wake up, followed by haircut inspections, uniform inspections, room inspections, and then we had to parade. Finally, we got that order to come up here and cheer on our Army team. We couldn't be more excited. It's a home opener. Always an exciting game. Let's get this game started, guys. Great stuff, Brad, and we'll check in with Brad throughout the course of our broadcast, our cadet sideline reporter today, and we had a chance to visit with him yesterday and even today, and he's excited as we all are. There's the head coach of the Black Knights in his fourth season, Rich Ellerson, trying to get his team to the 500 mark here in their second week after that week one loss at San Diego State. Dave Doran spent some time with Brett Bielema on the Wisconsin staff. He was the defensive coordinator and a great first year for Doran. You see his career record there at 12 and four. His team is one and one on the season. And he was asked at his weekly press conference earlier in the week, somebody said, how do you beat Army? He said, well, they're the Army. How do you beat the Army if you're not disciplined? And he certainly is expecting his team to be just that here today. 
Perfect day for football here at West Point. 67 degrees, winds from the northwest at 12 miles an hour. And the forecast, partly cloudy with temps in the low 70s, winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Army won the toss, they will receive. They're going north to south. The kickoff here and their kickoff man is Tyler Weedle. Crusetti is back number 13. And Steven Frazier back number 27. <laughs> and the wind, it's a little breezy. They had the, usually they bring the, the ball down, Randy, as you know, from being here for a couple of years. They have the paratrooper bring it down, but they waved it off today. Yeah, they did. It doesn't change anything for Army as far as his first possession, Ben, as we've talked before the game here. They really want to hold this ball as long as possible and starve the Northern Illinois offense from possessions. And Army's 2012 home season underway. They, There are a few rule changes. They kick off now from the 35. It'll be a first and 10 coming up for Army. They changed that as well from the 25-yard line. Tom now for our quarterback profile brought to you by True Bionics, Trent Steelman. He told us yesterday in our meetings with our staff and the Army players and coaches, he said, you know what, it was a very difficult week for me. It was probably the toughest week I've had here at West Point. Well, those turnovers, the fumbles, the interceptions, he has to make those exchanges perfect and be able to use that experience and leadership. Trent Steelman, the senior, of course, they run this triple option. They've got a newcomer to that backfield, the number 31, Terry Baggett. And they fake the handoff, and there is Terry Baggett out over the 30 to the 32-yard line. And some key players here to watch today, Randy. Well, Baggett and Maples here, both running backs, Progar, Defensive end, he'll be big on stopping the fullback. That's the one part they don't, don't want to be beat by. Jimmy Ward was the MAC Defensive Player of the Week last week for his performance against Tennessee Martin. And Ward's one of those guys that defensive coordinator Jay Neiman and talking to him as we did early in the week, he said, he's a guy we want to be a sheriff back there. After a pickup of seven, they get out across the 35-yard line. Jefferson made the stop there. Big Nabal Jefferson in the middle. Again on the that was Larry Dixon carrying the football and Army with all the history here. They've got a lot of great ex-coaches to talk about and, and, and keep their names alive. And they have their boards on the sideline and they're going to take an early timeout here, Randy, as they've got a first and 10 just across the 35. Army, their first time out of the We'll take a timeout, our first of the day here on CBS Sports Network. No score between Northern Illinois and Army. At USAA, we believe honor is not exclusive to the military, and commitment is not limited to one's military oath. The same set of values that drive our nation's military are the ones we used to build USAA Bank with our award-winning apps that allow you to transfer funds, pay bills, or manage your finances anywhere, anytime, so that wherever your duty takes you, USAA Bank goes with you. Visit us online to learn what makes our bank so different. Get ready for an interconference gridiron battle. Colorado will need to get the offense rolling to keep up with all Mountain West quarterback Derek Carr and the Fresno State Bulldogs. It's Colorado at Fresno State tonight at 8, only on CBS Sports Network. Ladies, why is your man watching this snoozer of a game? Because I'm on his fantasy football team. So he gets pretend points if we win or not. Boom! It's a guy thing. Like Dr. Pepper 10, with all 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper and just 10 manly calories, it's like a fantasy soda, but you can drink it. Get in there, hot dog! It's what guys want. Like scoring touchdowns with players that fake coaching. Woo! So close. So keep the reality TV and lady drinks. We're good. Dr. Pepper 10, it's not for women. I'm Beth Fair, and I'm Kat Jennings from Two Broke Girls, and this is the CBS Sports Network. Corps of Cadets on hand here as always. They're in the fatigues today. You bet they're fired up. Randy, the matchup. Can't turn the ball over. Cannot do that if you're Army. 
for Northern Illinois, they're going to stay aggressive. They can't be too aggressive on the defensive side because that's when Army can take advantage of them, but their real strength is they are a very disciplined defense, just like Coach Doran was talking about. First and 10 upcoming from the 36 is Steelman and the offense get the play call. Steelman dodges one tackle, but he won't dodge the second as Baxter was the first to get to him there. And he got some help from Tyrone Clark as well to finish him off. And well, the good and the bad for the Black Knights here today, Randy Cross. Well, they did lead the nation last year in rushing. We know they can run the ball. We know they can possess the ball. They even had 282 yards against San Diego State last week. But it's the turnovers that year in, year out, do them in. If they don't turn over the ball, this hit this program has a huge history in winning ball games if they don't turn it over. Loss of one on the previous play. They pitch it. Here's Baggett. He's big, strong, and tough. And you see him. Trying to keep those legs churning. Jamal Bass, the first to get to him. He got some help as well. And there is a penalty flag on the field. Jordan Lynch on the stop. There you go. They're going to run the triple option. The defensive end there, you saw. Progar, he was the guy they were optioning off. He was really static. That almost means you got to give it to the fullback if he's going to do, do that little penetrate. Here's a quick hit up the middle, and that's Raymond Maples, who a season ago went Raymond over a thousand yards. And Rich Ellerson and his staff, they love the way the similarities between he and Baggett. Well, watch Maples on this. This is the most successful run that Army has. It's a counter run back. They come across, they open out, but they hand it to the running back coming the other way. They average more yards on that play than any other play in this triple option. Fourth and two upcoming, and here we go. Steelman trying to get free. He dives across the 45. And Trent Steelman, tough and gritty. Bishop made the stop on him. Well, the, the wonderful expression that Coach Ellerson used talking to us yesterday was, my guys don't need to have an out-of-body experience. And Trent Steelman's the best example. He, he's a tough, aggressive, hard-running young man, a great leader. Don't do anything unusual. Just be who you are. Picked up three on that last play. On the fourth and two. From him. Well, we saw him run it with Maples the other way. Here's their favorite and biggest run to run that makes it the hardest to run is against that play. That's a wonderful job by the Army offense. Good, good execution once by Maples and for a big play by Baggett. Baggett, 100 yards last week on 13 carries. 22 on the last one. This time they try Raymond Maples down to the 23-yard line. Now they ran that same play to Maples now back. Now there it is with Baggett. Quarterback just opens up and it's just a counter move back the wrong way. It's a, it's a misread for the defense. And if the defense sits and watches and is concentrating on the fullback, man, you get that A or that C back right in your face. Well, Northern Illinois last season with wins over this Army team as Steelman runs on a room and Cal Poly, two teams that run the triple option. So they certainly have some insight as you're pointing out so well on how to defend this thing because it's not easy. By Clark. That play picks up one, third and seven. Pick up of a yard on that last play. Third and seven now. You want to watch this option and work. Watch the defensive ends in this 3-4. They are the ones that determine whether or not the fullback Dixon gets the ball. Nine plays so far. Number 10. Here's Maples. He's got a bunch of real estate. Cuts back into the middle. Touchdown. Army. They march right down the field and strike first. Well, remember. 22 yards on it. 
Remember what I said about Coach Ellerson, don't have an out-of-body experience. Trent Steelman reads that defensive end perfectly, pulls the ball out of Dixon's belly. He sees the opening outside, flips the ball to Maples. That's the triple option done flawlessly. Freshman place kicker is Daniel Brochowski out of Florida. And he nails it. And a 7-0 lead for the Black Knights, exactly the way they wanted to start the home opener here. A 22-yard touchdown run by Maple, 7-0 Army. If you're one of over 50 million adults who suffer from a sore mouth, consider New Act Sensitive. The soothing alcohol-free formula has maximum fluoride to rebuild enamel up to two times stronger. New Act Sensitive. Strong teeth, fresh breath in a sensitive formula. We had two tiny reasons to get our ADT security system. And one really big reason, the house next door. Our neighbor's house was broken into. Luckily, her family wasn't there, but what if this happened here? What if our girls were home? And since we can't monitor everything 24-7, we got someone who could. ADT. While some companies are new to home security, ADT has been helping to save lives for over 135 years. We have more monitoring centers, more of tomorrow's technology right here today, and more value. 24-7 monitoring against burglary, fire, and high levels of carbon monoxide, starting at just over a dollar a day. And now get ADT installed for just $99. Isn't your family worth America's number one security company, ADT? Our girls got us thinking, but the break-in got us calling. And after buying two of everything, it was nice to only need one security system, ADT. Get ADT installed for just $99 and ask about ADT Pulse, advanced home management, here today. ADT, always there. This is a special announcement for Americans who currently owe back taxes to the IRS or the state. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, you may qualify for assistance in the form of special tax resolution programs that are available now. If you need to file years of late returns, or if you've recently received collection letters from the IRS or state, call the number on your screen now or visit tax10,000.com. Armed Forces Football on CBS Sports Network is proudly supported by Golden Corral's All-American Carvers. It's non-stop turkey, ribs, and more, only at Golden Corral. Buy the Scion FRS. It's time to bring the sport back to the car. And by USAA, serving the financial needs of the military, veterans, and their families. The Cadet Honor Code. Great words, and what a place this is. We've been here since Thursday, our crew, and it has been an awesome experience. We had lunch in the mess hall with the cadets Thursday, among many things, and Raymond Maples, his first touchdown of the season, the first of what Rich Ellerson and company hope is plenty. You remember last week, San Diego State raced out to that big lead. Army never had the execution really the discipline of execution to give them a chance to have anything close to that kind of a drive. There is Tommy Lee Lewis last season in a game at Toledo. He took two kicks back, one being the opening kick, and the very next kick he ran back 90-plus yards. And the coach is telling us on our conversations with him earlier in the week, he said, he's as quick as quick is. Perez Ashford's the other one, deep number seven. Eric Osteen's got it on the tee. Short kick fielded at the 17-yard line by one of the up men, and a good block on the outside. And the Black Knights able to get to the ball carrier, and that was Alex Meyer that finished off Rob Sterling. Quick timeout. First look at Jordan Lynch in Northern Illinois when we come back. MCOR is a company of doers. We build, power, service, and protect structures of every kind, impacting millions of lives. That's not all we do. We also support our troops. We send packages with a little bit of home to those far from home. MCOR, build, power, service, protect, and support.
Just make adrenaline pump and pulses quicken. To help you not just to stay alive, but feel alive. The new C-Class is no exception. It's a Mercedes-Benz through and through. See your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer for exceptional offers through Mercedes-Benz Financial Services. Is it a 20-minute shorter wash cycle? Or a 20-minute longer lap cycle? Is it 20% less time in here? Or 20% more time out here? Is it 20% more storage capacity? Or 20% more fun capacity? LG's innovative line of appliances let you fast forward to moments that matter. So, is it an appliance or something better? Dave Doran, second year head coach of the Northern Illinois Huskies and get his first look at his offense here today. And he said one of his concerns earlier in the week was not getting his players, not getting caught up in all the pageantry that surrounds football here at West Point. And Jordan Lynch, so far he's been excellent in the first two games. It's time for our QB profile brought to you by True Bionics. And some numbers on the first year starter. Those are his numbers last week. Very good throwing it, very good running it. He's a dual threat guy. He's a real dual threat quarterback. He not only runs it really well, he can throw it well. He throws it well in a lot of different formations. Here, the pistol. Looking to throw, he does. Wide open up the near sideline. A ton of room into Black Knight's territory goes Luke Ekes. How about that for a first play on the road? Really pretty simple. They, they bring a player in motion, but they have a tight end slash H back in the backfield. He fires to the flat, and no one goes with him on that left side of the Army defense setting up that huge play. Close to 40 yards on that play. 38 yards. Now Lynch spread it out the other way, and that's... What a uh, young man in Martell Moore that they really want to try to get him into open space. Ready? Watch these guys. Tell us about him. Well, Settle is one heck of a running back. Tommy Lee Lewis, you talked about him as a kick returner, as a slot receiver. He is something special. Nate Combs plays a hybrid. Number 22, let's all keep an eye on him. And Josh Jackson's the best cover man. He'll be at the field corner, which means he covers the most ground on the field. Good stuff. Gain of eight on the last play. Here is Settle, his first carry, and he is buried inside the 25-yard line. Ty Schrader, the senior, stepping up. Tackling was an issue last week against San Diego State. They had times where they rallied to the ball like this, but for the whole game, that's where Army struggled. They must tackle like that every single play. Third in the yard coming up. Huskies shifting. Look at Combs, 22 in the middle. Doing some freelancing. Here's Lynch. And he knifes his way through there and picks up the first down. Down close to the 18-yard line goes Jordan Lynch. Mike Eugenie made the stop. And it was Combs at that hybrid position. Not quite a linebacker, not quite a nose guard. He's able to decide where he wants to go, and he overruns that play, misses that tackle. Today's red zone being brought to you by our friends at Verizon. Lynch on the move, fires, and Ashford makes a nice catch inside the five-yard line. He was forced out of bounds by Trimble. Lynch's pass is complete. Excellent job of throwing the ball while he's moving. Nice accuracy. Good job of seeing the ball and having your eyes and the hands hit the, hit the ball at the same thing by Ashford. Big part of their wide receiving core, a big weapon. Use him a lot in third down situations as well. First and goal now, Lynch floats it up and he missed the intended target there. The big tight end, Shepler. Yeah, Shepler missed the 2011 season with an injury, and this offense suffers a little without him. He's a very good blocker. Not a bad receiver, but man, was he wide open. This is one Lynch would love to have back. It's a good four yards between the tight end and the nearest coverage. Second and goal upcoming. The fullback Sterling in there to relay to Lynch. 
Lynch settled, trying to carve his way behind that left guard. He's still on his feet. And a host of Black Knight defenders there. Bacon the first. He got some help from Combs as well. And we talk about the hybrid position that Combs plays. It doesn't change much whether in the middle of the field or here near the goal line. 22, watch 22. He has the ability to stand up. He can read stances. He can read backfield formation. And he has the free the freedom by the defensive coordinators and the coaches say, you just go to where you think the ball is going. Good look at him there, eyeing the cornerback Lynch. Third and goal from the two. He's looking to the tight end instead now. The other option, that's going to be a tough play. And the tight end, he pulled that baby in with three players from Army's defense around him. And that is Semish pulling that in. That is one heck of a catch. Yeah, Lynch missed the tight end to the right, goes to the tight end coming back left. And Semish uh, makes up for the miss. What a wonderful job of concentration. Talked about earlier with Ashford. The ruling Seeing on the, the ball, field is a touchdown. Catching the ball with your eyes in your hand. It's a scoring play review. here. We'll see it again. But he's got it. That foot is down. Wow, that's something. That is a heck of an effort. They are taking a look at this in the review booth. Does the ball move? Nope. He, he dots that left foot down. He gets down right after he squeezes that ball. How about the confidence from Lynch to throw that in there? Well, there's one spot where your guy can get it. Yeah. And that's the only spot he could put it. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, see the foot, the foot was clearly down in bounds, and he had the ball. The ball never budged. That's gonna be a touchdown. 7 22 remaining in the opening quarter. Army with a touchdown run and a very good opening drive to take a 7-0 lead. And one more look. Now just concentrate here, right to that foot. Watch the foot come down. Now he's got After the ball. Further review, the call on the field stands. And the foot touchdown. is down. Yeah, it's a touchdown. Absolutely. Well done. And Northern Illinois, a PAT away from evening the score is Matthew Sims. He's their junior. Does their place kicking. Both teams have kickoff guys. and. Place kickers. The defensive side should be wearing out some grease boards on the sideline trying to figure out where all those yards came from. Yeah, exactly. Hunter Ryan nears the holder and Sims drills it. Good start to this one here. 7 7 here at West Point. What happened last night? Apparently, we went to Jack in the Box at 1 54 a.m and got nine orders of tacos, four seasoned curly fries, and seven real ice cream shakes. So who drove us home? I did. Oh, why are you still here? He dared you to eat my key. And why don't you call a cab? He dared you to eat my phone. <laughs> Think you're stuck paying high auto insurance rates because of your driving record? Then now is the time to change the game. Just go to thegeneral.com or call us for a super fast quote. All it takes is a couple of minutes. Our rates are very affordable, and right now our monthly payments are as low as $39. You'll also get instant proof of insurance. <laughs> Show off. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the general and save some time. Away is as much about getting there as it is being there. Away is where the days are packed with wonder. And the evenings are filled with familiar comforts. Find your way for a dealer in the RV that's right for you. Visit GoRVing.com. Well, certainly so much history and tradition here at Army. Doc Blanchard, Mr. Inside, won the Heisman in 45. Glenn Davis, Mr. Outside in 46. And Pete Dawkins, 1958. I know Pete is here today. I saw him at the hotel last night, so he's in attendance for the opener here for Army today. And a great shot there as you see the Heisman's on display. Army just looking to get 
back on track with certainly the greats of the past watching. Hope you're enjoying it so far here on CBS Sports Network with Randy Cross up in the booth, Brad Strimmel, our cadet sideline reporter. My name is Ben Holden. It's a privilege to be here. And so far, Randy, good football game. It really is. It, it's some mistakes. Or, or, or plays that were exploited by Northern Illinois. Army on offense has done what they want to do, possess the ball, get first downs. Tyler Weedle, the kickoff. It'll be taken a yard deep in the end zone. That's Frazier. He can fly, but he gets tripped up here just shy of the 20 yard line. Frazier carries the ball. 7.15 remaining. We'll get our second look at Trent Steelman and the Army offense in a tie game when we come back. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? It's the age-old question of travel. The same one we ask ourselves every day. Is it the safest? The most efficient? Have we created the kind of vehicle to move not just people, but an industry forward? Are we there yet? Are we really? Are we there yet? We are. For now. Introducing the all-new 7-passenger GL. Mercedes-Benz. The best or nothing. On the next NFL Monday QB, can RG3 continue to shine against a Rams defense that picked off Matthew Stafford three times in week one? And will the Jets offense rally around Mark Sanchez as they battle with the Steelers? NFL Monday QB, Monday at 6.30, only on CBS Sports Network. Text messaging can be a silent killer. When driving a car, keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel. Don't text and drive. CBS cares. Whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong, gotta be me. than halfway through this opening quarter. Steelman and company back on for their second possession. Ten plays on that opening drive. Capped off by a 22-yard run by Raymond Maples. Today's first down line being brought to you by Golden Corral. Number seven. Jared Hassan came into the game, was a fullback, now a halfback, number seven, near back. Maples, number one, the far side. Dixon's in there as well. They really like Larry Dixon. Tough, hard-nosed competitor. First play of Army's second drive. Steelman took a look, then took a shot, but he'll pick up close to three yards. Time now to take a look at our keys to success, and we'll start with Army. Well, we've mentioned about Army has to win that turnover battle. I think if the Huskies are run heavy, that's their best chance, mix in about 20, 25 plays. Our keys to success, those are brought to you by University of Phoenix. Now Maples cutting back inside, gang tackled. Not about the 27-yard line. Jimmy Ward, who's a guy that you've got your eyes on here, I know for sure. Yeah, get used to seeing number 15. It's great that they list him just as a DB. Some guys are listed as corners. Some are listed as safeties. He's actually playing what, what amounts to a, a linebacker position today. Number 15, top of the screen, poking his nose in right up there. Five on that last play. Here's Steelman. They get him at the line. It's going to be a first down, though. Yep. Clark. Inside of six minutes remaining here in this opening quarter, and Trent Steelman. And you see, if this is your first experience watching Army football, as it is mine live, they have the signs. And we touched on it earlier. I asked Rich Ellerson. I said. 
How does that work? Who do you decide on there? He goes, we got a whole list of yeah. Hall of Famers outside. I told our coaches to pick some. Oregon made it kind of in vogue <laughs> to do, and they choose a lot of Hollywood and various type of references, but they've got history. Place is oozing with history. Good job by Maples to keep that ball. He bottled it, and Clark got in there on the tackle. Tyrone Clark, the senior, tough as nails in there to make the tackle. Tyrone Clark there for the tackle. And what this offense wants to do, they will they will take what you give them. So if you say you won't be the foot, your fullback can't run, we're going to cover that quarterback. They're just going to keep running and running, and that includes fourth down in most situations. They consider all four downs theirs. Green light, second and three upcoming here inside of five to play in quarter one. Steelman putting it up for the first time, and Malcolm Brown, who was a big part of their backfield last season. They're hoping to get some more production because of his ability to get outside, maybe make some big plays, just couldn't hang on there. Yeah, and Malcolm Brown had that big touchdown catch last year against Navy. And, and Steelman here puts this ball right on his hands. And all you young receivers know about going before you catch it, worrying about where you're going to run with it. There's a great example. Take your eyes off the ball, it'll cost you. Third and three upcoming now. Army Let's two go. for three on third down thus far in the contest. Three. And they're going to take a timeout here. That's their second. Timeout with four. Army. Their second timeout of the half. 30-second timeout. 4.49 remaining in the opening quarter. Big day here. We started off and we're... Thrilled to be with you here from West Point, but stay tuned. A great day of college football continues at 3.30 Eastern. It's a CUSA showdown as Southern Miss travels to take on East Carolina. The two teams have accounted for three of the last four Conference USA championships. Then at 8 Eastern, Colorado heads to Bulldog Stadium for the first time ever. Fresno State senior running back Robbie Rouse just 79 yards away from becoming the school's all-time leading rusher. It's all exclusively on CBS Sports Network. Football every day. Third member of our broadcast team is that young man there, Brad Strimble. Brad, you look great. Talk about the fatigues and why you guys, the core of cadets. Well, this whole week has been branch week, and we've been really focused on the, uh, com uh, the profession of military arms. That's why you see us in our ACUs or our combat uniforms today, and we'll be wearing them the rest of the week. That's great. Brad, are you still there? I am still here. How did, uh, how did Operation Hook and Ladder turn out with your folks? Do they know you're on now or what? I believe, I believe they do now. Very good. There's a penalty flag as Steelman keeps. Steelman, Steelman dropped that snap. And the as offense. you see, so, as penalty. you see often on Third kickoffs down. when the balls sort of fumbled, it knocks the timing off. But he picked that thing up and got himself a first down. But there was a flag on the play. And at the center spot, Ryan Powis in there. He wasn't in last week. Wilson played at center. And they had three occurrences where they had bad exchanges. Third and eight coming up. Steelman fakes the first man. He's got room across the 40, out near the 45-yard line. Goes Trent Steelman. Deshaun Durant, the safety, forced him out. Look at this full, this full house backfield. Gives the linebackers out here a totally different look. They're a little confused by the action, and that opens that huge stream right up the middle almost for Steelman to run through. Great read by the Army quarterback. Getting, a, getting the ball out to the 45-yard line. A little different look in these, these formations for the backfield, but Ian Shields, the offensive coordinator, talks about every formation we do, we do it for a specific reason. Whistle and stoppage here. And it looks... Timeout. Yeah. Army. Army. Their Another. final timeout of the half. 30-second timeout. Another Army timeout. There's the head coach, four-season Rich Ellerson, and... There's his family, well entrenched in West Point. His father, his brothers, having gone to school here. And 
What was your sense in, in when we talked to him yesterday? Did you feel he felt pretty confident about this game? Or what were your thoughts uh, after talking with him? Well, I, I think everyone associated with this whole entire academy last week was literally shocked by the results of last week's game. They were they were expecting themselves to own up or, or live up to the discipline, live up to the precision with which they usually run their offense and their defense. And both of those were sorely lacking for the majority of that game against San Diego State. And my impression of Coach Ellerson yesterday was, I think the kids got the message. He, not only were they focused, he was pretty focused too. Well, I want to remind you that Armed Forces football is proudly supported by USAA. So out of the timeout, Army's out of timeouts here in the half. And the first 11 minutes and 10 seconds, they've used all three. Game tied at seven apiece. Steelman fakes the handoff to the fullback, and Maples just simply Slip there. Trent Steelman, we talked with him about some of the changes they need this week. <laughs> Everything. Everything needs to change. But the big thing is getting the little things right because the little things is what motors this offense and motors our defense. And we always say the, the best player on this team is the team. And there's nobody outside the team that can try to play outside their body, but we just got to play as one. And it's uh, those same details that, that power and motor this entire academy, too. John Crusetti trying to get away from the defensive end. Allen Baxter, good speed by the big boy to yank him down. Yeah, I suppose you have to try it on occasion just to threaten that you will, but it, outflanking this defense for Northern Illinois, I don't know, is, is something that Army is going to be able to do. They, they can get them on misdirection. They can get them on, on just over committing, being too aggressive, but just beating them on speed is highly unlikely. Loss of three on the play. Baxter a season ago against these Black Knights when Army was at Northern Illinois to open the respective seasons. A big day with seven tackles in that game. Fake the handoff. Steelman trying to keep his footing. Dives just shy of the midfield stripe. They're going to spot him down at the 49. Clark made the stop. Terry Baggett there. Attention there is the 6'1, 200 pound sophomore out of Chicago. We talk about all four downs being the offenses, and, and that's obviously on fourth down. If they can get in the fourth and two or less, they'll go for it on fourth. But here, smart move, punting and trying to pin back NIU. Chris Bolt to boot it away. Perez Ashford, their top punt return guy, will let it go, and Army will benefit from this. They'll down him inside the five-yard line. Great work to get down there. And Bolt gets a bounce. And Dixon was down there to down the football. 49-yard punt. And Randy, we talked about it in the open. A championship year. The Huskies coming off. Yeah, won those 11 games, nine of which were at the very end, defeated Ohio to win that MAC title and then beat Arkansas State in that go daddy get that bowl game. They won 11 games. Heck, South Carolina won 11, and they gave themselves rings. <laughs> Northern Illinois won 11, and they just said, well, it's a nice get, nice, nice year. Thank you. Yeah, good point. And, and I love Dave Doran's quote. His Army will try to get to Lynch. He talked about it as this pass incomplete to Ashford. He was asked about maybe the motto or the approach of the team this year, and Dave Doran saying success isn't owned, it's rented and the rent is due every day. I think that's a good way to live life. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how you defend a title, too. You don't worry about what you did in the past. Right. Because literally, that is, that's old, that's last month's rent. That doesn't matter, you already paid that. Exactly. Power left formation, the two tight ends. Lynch, dangerous with those feet. Good game by Jordan Lynch out across the 10. And Bacon made the stop. Yeah, it was a good combination of not only a nice hole opening up for Lynch, but watch the way this powerful quarterback runs. Coach describes him as a linebacker playing quarterback. That's how a linebacker runs with the ball when he gets his hands on it.
Third and a yard coming up. Lynch trying to slip free. Bacon came in there to finish him off. It's going to be close, but we'll take a peek. That's going to be just short, I think. About a, about a ball or so short of that first down, because the first down is right about the front edge of that 12-yard line. And they're bringing the chain gang on to measure here. Northern Illinois getting the first down. So they are perfect on third down. The, the big guys up front, Randy. Well, and those aren't years of experience on the right. <laughs> those are games. Yeah. It's a very inexperienced group, but they're smart and they're very physical. Logan Pegram, who is their top returner. A bonus, Lynch gets into open field in his leg, and Lynch continues to go, and he gets free! And Jordan Lynch to the house! 88 yards on the touchdown run from Lynch. A flag will come in for excessive celebration, but Northern Illinois has taken another one in to yeah. take the lead. Any any questions about the importance of their quarterback to this offense? Just the sequence of the last few plays, his power, and there his speed. There's a touchdown on the play. After the play, dead ball on Sportsmanlike, number six of the offense. So the officials feeling there was... 15-yard penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Wow, a little too much celebration, but... What, he had the audacity to score on the road? <laughs> is, that, is that illegal? I mean, It I, didn't look like much. I mean, he and two other, uh, of his other, other teammates. I don't know about that. I'm with you. He looked at the Northern Illinois fans in that end zone and kind of put his hands up. That's all I saw. Let Sims these on. kids have fun. Yeah, come on. And the Huskies on top, 14-7. Well, Army talks about that they've got to be perfect with the first tackler. When they get the first tackler to the ball carrier, you've got to be able, you've got to be able to make 100% hits. There's the first miss in the backfield, whiffing on the legs. Here's another whiff, cutting underneath. And that's, that's the key to this defense. This defense is such that it's gap, gap, gap responsibility. One player has the big responsibility of making that tackle. You miss that first one, you pay big. You miss two, you pay bigger. And here's the end as Lynch goes into the end zone. Ah, just sort of tells a little quiet to the uh, crowd. Eighty-eight yard touchdown run for Lynch, five on the ground, and for the last two years he had backed up a young man in Chandler Harnish, who's now in the NFL, albeit he was what was he this year in the draft? Oh, he's Mr. Irrelevant. Yeah. The very last, the very end. Two hundred and fifty-third pick, correct? In the draft? Yep. And, we'll, uh, and is and is still uh Ir irrelevant for somebody. He's still there behind still Andrew on, Luck. Yep, he's still on the roster in Indianapolis. Tyler Weedle will kick it off. They back him up to the 20. Would have been the 35 of the rule change this year, but the 15-yard penalty for Lynch with two shushes to the end zone and a decent return here by Frazier out across the 30-yard line in the dying seconds of the first quarter. The Black Knights will have 15 seconds here as Perez Ford made the tackle there on special teams for Northern Illinois. Very important here for Army. Possess the ball. No exchange problems. Don't let this scoreboard get sideways. Stealman to the sidelines. We've received word that the return of Sophomore Terry Baggett uncertain. The right knee was an issue. Instead, they give the Dixon here on the first down carry, and wrapping him up is Nabal Jefferson, the six foot, 290 pound senior. And that will take us 
down to the end of the opening quarter. We saw him on the field earlier, the chain gang. Well, there's a lot of hard-nosed work going on as well as the boys of fall are back. At USAA, we believe honor is not exclusive to the military, and commitment is not limited to one's military oath. The same set of values that drive our nation's military are the ones we used to build USAA Bank. With our award-winning apps that allow you to transfer funds, pay bills, or manage your finances anywhere, anytime, so that wherever your duty takes you, USAA Bank goes with you. Visit us online to learn what makes our bank so different. Welcome to Bud Light Fantasy Football, where every bottle is a player. My Bud Light threw for four TDs. Draft players using codes on specially marked bottles of Bud Light. Mine won the game with a 60-yard field goal. Manage your team at BudLight.com slash FFL. My Bud Light fumbled at the three-yard line. My Bud Light extended my winning streak. When Bud Light is on your roster, every game is a win. My Bud Light made him cry. Bud Light Fantasy Football. Start building your team today. You missed the bouquet toss. Are you sure? Yeah. I get all my friends' picks as soon as they take them. Really? You just missed an awesome dance-off between the dads. Oh, wow. <laughs> you just missed a cake fight. Seriously? Everyone's taking pictures like they're paparazzi. <laughs> Are we missing that? We're not. Check it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Get all your friends' photos automatically with ShareShot on the Galaxy S3. Hey, first dance. Are you kidding me? Available at Verizon. There aren't many things in the world that are absolutely free without some kind of catch. Well, today, there is no catch. Call now and get the new Warrior Tomahawk Hybrid Iron absolutely free. No gimmicks, no purchase necessary. Over a $200 retail value, free. All we ask is that you give us an accurate evaluation of the club's performance because your feedback is vitally needed before it's released to retail stores. Warrior makes this new 19-degree hybrid with extreme weighting technology. You'll hit this club longer and straighter than any other iron. Get the new Warrior Tomahawk Hybrid Iron today, and all you pay is for shipping and handling. Supplies are limited, so call now. Get the new Warrior Tomahawk Hybrid Iron today. It's time to make Warrior's Tomahawk Hybrid Iron your new weapon of choice. No purchase necessary and no catches. It's absolutely free. Call now. This is a special announcement for anyone in America currently faced with overwhelming financial pressures due to back taxes owed to the IRS or the state. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or other state agencies, tax resolution programs are now available that may help you deal with these problems and get your life back on track. Time is not on your side. Take the first step toward resolution of these problems today by calling the Tax Relief Helpline now. Only 84 days to go in the countdown to America's game. The Army-Navy game presented by USAA on CBS Sports. They're ready, the Corps of Cadets. 4,600 proud. Terry Baggett still with that right knee wrapped. And a couple of carries for Baggett on that first series. Quarter number two underway. Steelman keeps. Did a good job to get away from the would-be tackler and Demetrius Stone was able to get to him and take him down to the field after a pickup of a couple on that carry. The time of possession, obviously, right now is heavily in Army's favor. But the per play is tilted really seriously in Northern Illinois. They've had so many big plays. Lynch, the 88-yard touchdown run to put in IU. The Huskies of Northern Illinois up 14-7. Steelman cuts back into the middle, upended. But he will pick up the first down to the 44-yard line. And Sean Progar made the tackle in there for the Huskies. And Progar was lined up as the backside defensive end on that play. And those ends are 
both coming down. They, they don't know which way Army's going to run, but they're taking the fullback away. They do not want Dixon to be the one that beats them. And on the outside, ball just isn't getting to Ward right now. He's positioned there for the pitch. Steelman, nine rushes, 37, and they can take a couple off of that as Baxter sniffed that out to perfection. Well, Baxter, they're taking away the fullback, and here's Baxter. He's going to take away the quarterback. He drops in, and he comes in so quickly. Steelman reads pull for the fullback, but Baxter doesn't stop at the fullback. His goal is the quarterback. No way to react quick enough after that exchange with the fullback to flip the ball out to the back. Dixon gets it this time on second down and 11. Minimal gain for him there. Clark in on the tackle. He's been in on a bunch of tackles and a good start to their 2012 season has Clark. Third and eight coming up now for the Black Knights. And in these obvious passing situations, A, Army sometimes runs, but they usually have either one receiver or two receiver routes. Four of six on third down. Can they get it here? It looks like indeed they will as Crusetti takes it inside the 45, down near the 42. Jamal Bass in on the play for Northern Illinois. That's great decision making because they take away the fullback Progar slashes in there. Nelson gets caught inside, and that sets up a great chance for Crusader to get that first down and those extra yards. And I think they were expecting the pass on the Northern Illinois side, and that run hit him so fast they couldn't adjust. Picked up 13 on the play. I'm waiting for Ian Shields to go to the spread. Their offensive coordinator. Kidding, of course. <laughs> Short pick up here up the middle. And that is the fullback, Larry Dixon. Progar got him there. I don't know what, what would cause more shock here at Mikey Stadium, <laughs> them coming out in a read option spread look or an empty backfield. <laughs> Probably 50-50, don't you think? In terms of the shock factor, pick up a four on the last play. Army down, 14-7. Ball game so far. And Steelman put it on the field turf. There is Dixon. He had his back on that one, and he recovered it quickly. Again, it's uh, working with a familiar, familiar center. I mean, Ryan Powis, the sophomore, played last year with Steelman as a freshman, and that really seemed like Steelman just lost that ball from the get-go. And, and granted, the center does escape pretty quickly in these triple option offense. Flag flies as Dixon got it. He's the fullback in this offense. Randy pointing out so well. The penalty appears it'll be on Army. Yeah, it's going to be motion against the Army. Well, they're going to look, they're gonna look the at the outside backers, and that's shift. what they call the illegal the shift on. Going at the same, the at the same the both moving at the Five same yards, time. Third down, third down. That's a big no-no. And you can tell from the way they stopped and kind of looked at each other, they knew it was a big no-no when they did it. Yep. Second penalty of that nature, the illegal shift so far in the game. Third and a dozen coming up for Steelman and the Black Knights. To the sideline again, as they do so often. Safeties are only about six yards from the ball now. They originally lined up around 10, 12 yards off the ball before. Here is Steelman to Maples. Raymond Maples and Ward was there. Getting in on that tackle. Bring up a fourth and long situation coming up. Johnny Faustin also went on the tackle. Fourth and 
No, it, it, this is an example on that last play. That, that's that's rallying to the ball. That's what they need here on this next play. I got to think Army's going to try to get them to jump offside. I find it hard to believe they'd give them that good a field position if they don't get this for first down. Well, they need seven. They run the play. Steelman looking to the air. Now in trouble trying to escape, and he's yanked down back at the 45-yard line. Anthony Wells, one of about eight defensive linemen they rotate, read that beautifully. Yeah, I mean, Wells did not mess around right there. Watch Wells read his keys. He's up the field, now he's pass rushing, and he never comes off a of Steelman. Dixon tried to get a block on him, but Wells did an absolutely fabulous job, and they were able to take advantage of what I think was a very poor decision by Army in that instance. I think you punt and you try to pin Northern Illinois back. You don't give them the ball at the 40-yard line. These guys are too, too talented. 9.47 to go. The Huskies get it when we come back. Welcome to Bud Light Fantasy Football, where every bottle is a player. My Bud Light threw for four TDs. Draft players using codes on specially marked bottles at Bud Light. Mine won the game with a 60-yard field goal. Manage your team at BudLight.com slash FFL. My Bud Light fumbled at the three-yard line. My Bud Light extended my winning streak. When Bud Light is on your roster, every game is a win. My Bud Light made him cry. Bud Light Fantasy Football. Start building your team today. Get ready for an interconference gridiron battle. Colorado will need to get the offense rolling to keep up with all Mountain West quarterback Derek Carr and the Fresno State Bulldogs. It's Colorado at Fresno State, tonight at 8, only on CBS Sports Network. My father is a baseball scout. My daughter can throw better than that. I grew up around men who swore, drank, and farted. Get me a damn check. One of those for me. Nope. Stubborn as hell. Yeah, I wonder where I'd get it. How long are you gonna be here? I'll probably close the place down. There's no life for a kid of mine. Those were the best seats in the house. You don't even like baseball. I love baseball. Wow, you guys have got to lighten up. Who are you, Dr. Phil? Hey, that is quality television. Yeah. Trouble with the curve. Rated PG-13. Hi, I'm Daniel Day Kim from Hawaii 5 and you're watching CBS Sports Network. Time now to take a look at today's key players brought to you by Scion. Jordan Lynch and Maple Jordan Sarge. Lynch hasn't been the key player for yes. NIU. The Maples had the one big play on that touchdown run. Those are our first half key players brought to you by Scion. 45 yard line. Where the Huskies start after Army decided to go for it on a fourth and seven. And they do a good job there. Jackson getting up to the ball, number 14. And Akeem Daniels, they've got three or four guys in that backfield. He's, well, the second option at this point is Leighton Settle coming off a great week. Nice job by Josh Jackson, the, the field corner. He, he didn't make the tackle. He tried to make it, but he turned the running back in back towards the defense. From the shotgun, he floats one up, looking for the deep threat. Martell Moore, and he made the catch. And the defender all over him. And it was Waverly Washington, who has not started many games here at West Point, and that's what they want out of Martell Moore. Well, Martell Moore is their, their big bang threat. He and Tommy Lee Lewis. And Lynch does a great job. He's, he's sort of padding his resume here, not only as a thrower, but also as a runner. 33-yard pass down the left sideline. He sort of floated it in there, but it dropped perfectly over the Army defender. Here they come, and Tommy Lee Lewis on the reverse in open field. He's got a ton of room. He's going to walk in. A touchdown for Northern Illinois. Tommy Lee Lewis, you're not going to stop that. A 21-yard touchdown run. Any questions on why you don't give this offense the ball at their own 45-yard line? None. Yeah, that was really well executed by NIU, and Army completely overcommitted to the handoff by Lynch. And there was no one left at home for Tommy Lee running around. Sims on out of the hold of Ryan Neer. Matthew Sims for the extra point. And Sims, very good veteran player for them, makes it a 21-7 
Northern Illinois lead here early on in quarter number two here at West Point. The Black Knights get the rock back when we come back on CBS Sports Network. Dentist allows only one mouthwash in our home. ACT. ACT mouthwash for kids has maximum fluoride for up to 40% fewer cavities and stronger teeth. And mom says we get better checkups. And she should know. ACT. Stronger teeth and better checkups in every bottle. Now on demand. Get the girl. Two strangers. You want to tell me why those men are after you? One secret. That girl does not leave the city. Broke his trachea. I didn't know a trachea could break. Jason Statham. Take him out. Safe. Order now on demand. Think you're stuck paying high auto insurance rates because of your driving record? Then now is the time to change the game. Just go to thegeneral.com or call us for a super fast quote. All it takes is a couple of minutes. Our rates are very affordable, and right now our monthly payments are as low as $39. You'll also get instant proof of insurance. <laughs> Show off. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the general and save some time. Let's compare technology on DISH and DirecTV. DirecTV has seven Emmy Awards for technical achievement, and DISH won. And now DirecTV offers a high-definition DVR with TiVo, and DISH doesn't. Only DirecTV combines TiVo's unique interface and integrated search with our award-winning interactive features. Number one in technology. Another reason 30 million people agree. Don't just watch TV, DirecTV. There's Tommy Lee Lewis. If you're a, a, a slot receiver, a great kick returner, do you want to just throw him the ball? No. Let him be a returner. Let the defense overreact this way. And then look at the lack of defenders in this alley that Tommy Lee has. That is just perfect execution. And Coach Sadat is uh, not real happy with his defense, and he shouldn't be. They're getting gashed for some huge plays. They are, and Tommy Lee Lewis with his first touchdown of the season, a 21-yard run. Didn't take him long, Randy. Three plays, 55 yards in a whopping 52 seconds after they got it near midfield. Of a shot and the helmet that's another one of them lemon's helmet rasheen lemon lost his lid there so new rule this year lose your helmet take a play off he will we'll take a quick timeout short but important timeout back to mikey stadium hard hitting affair we'll be back after this at usaa we believe honor is not exclusive to the military and commitment is not limited to one's military oath. The same set of values that drive our nation's military are the ones we used to build USAA Bank with our award-winning apps that allow you to transfer funds, pay bills, or manage your finances anywhere, anytime. So that wherever your duty takes you, USAA Bank goes with you. Visit us online to learn what makes our bank so different. Introducing Tropical Island Grill only at Golden Corral. This is island cooking at its best. It's breaded Cozumel Island shrimp, Fiji lemon pepper tilapia, and much more. It's all part of our endless dinner buffet, still for one low price, and it's only at Golden Corral. When the game is winding down, our experts are just warming up. Join us as we break down all the SEC action with highlights, in-depth analysis, and more. Don't miss SEC Tonight, presented by GEICO. Tonight at 7, only on CBS Sports Network. Where can a marketing administrator be a watercraft engineer? Where can a doctor serve his community while also treating patients around the world? Where can a student stay in school while expanding his education beyond the classroom? In the U.S. Army Reserve, you'll find the strength to develop new skills and gain an edge to get ahead. There's strong, and then there's Army strong. Visit GoArmy.com slash reserve. Well, the Corps of Cadets, they have a lot of fun. It's a release for them here when they come to Mikey Stadium. 
Not sure what's inside the box. I don't think anything's in there. I think they're just having a little fun with it. And their team right now down 14 points. Looking to get back into it. Want to remind you, today's first down line is being brought to you by Golden Corral. So Army here with a 14-point deficit. Maples with 48 on the ground. Baggett with 38. And Randy, those are some critical numbers, too. Yeah, they sure are. Northern Illinois getting it in big chunks. Now, Army is just happy if they're getting it four or five yards at a time. But you can't have the mental mistakes putting the ball on the ground and risking losing it. They're going to give way to last year's leading rusher, Maples. Ward was there. He got free of him and did a terrific job as Deshaun Durant, number 21, finally wrestled him down. That was perfect execution again on their favorite play, that backside look. It's a counter look to the defense. They're expecting the run to the right, and they get that quick counter back. Picked up 11 on that carry for the first down. Steelman out to about the 44-yard line. Picked up a half dozen, did the senior out of Bowling Green, Kentucky. Jamal Bass on the stop. This possession here, very critical, I think, for Army. Yes. They have got to keep pace. They've got to stop from hyperventilating and chasing NIU, play their game, stay on the field, get first downs, put a touchdown on the board. Well said, partner, and Rich Ellerson always talks about the next play. Here's a nice effort on the next play by Crusetti inside of Husky territory. Again, Tyrone Clark shoved him out of bounds. And the important thing for, for this Army executing, Northern Illinois is doing a nice job, but you see an advantage numbers-wise exploit it. They had the advantage on the exterior there numbers-wise, and they were able to get the big play. 17 on the carry. Steelman's got it left side. A stiff arm to the helmet of the defender Jimmy Ward there, and Steelman wrestled down. Remember, when you, when you talk about Jimmy Ward, Jimmy Ward could be a corner, could be a safety, could be a linebacker. But there he is right there. He's getting blocked from the get-go. He comes off that block, and he benefits from Steelman going sideways instead of north and south. Jimmy Ward, the reigning Mac West Defensive Player of the Week. He's had double-digit tackles in both weeks. He had a dozen against Iowa that gave it Soldier Field. Dixon picks up a couple right up the gut. They go to Larry. Clark again got in there to help out on the stop. Dixon with a big season last season. They really did for a freshman coming in here and having the impact he did. And Ben, just critical here. One of these snaps, you got to snap it right away. You can't always look right back over to the sideline. Here we go. I agree. Five for eight on third down. There goes Steelman. And he's inside the 25 to the 24. They pick it up. Well, here's ex that's exactly what we're talking about. If you're Northern yep. Illinois, why would you even honor the first 30 seconds of them being at the line of scrimmage? But it's good execution. The defensive end, Progar, he slams down. They pull out the ball, and Steelman sees that running lane up front. And no one gets a shot at Steelman until he's past the first down mark. Pickup of eight for driver number eight, Trent Steelman. Ball at the 24-yard line. Steelman, yes, very decorated. Only Army player in the history. Over 100 years of football to ever go for 2,000 on the ground and throw for 2,000. And a delay of game. Five yards, first down. We're out of timeouts. So that'll back him up five with 5.36 remaining here in the first half of play. You know, when you operate by the in spite of theory, you know, in spite of mistakes, in spite of negatives, in spite of a lot of things, sometimes one of the in spite ofs is yourself. And in spite of themselves here, this Army offense has to find out, find a way to be successful on this drive. Seventh play of it, Steelman wrapped up and dropped at the 25 by Joe Windsor. 
I want to remind you that Armed Forces Football on CBS Sports Network is proudly presented and supported by Zion. And Northern Illinois. Timeout. Northern Illinois. There you hear. First time out of the half. From our referee. 4.58 remaining. We'll take a short timeout. Come right back to Mikey Stadium after this. With 18 inch alloy wheels, eight speaker pioneer audio system with Bluetooth and HD radio technology, a 2012 IIHS top safety pick, plus the JD Power and Associates Award for most dependable compact sporting car. The TC is loaded with premium features from the inside out. The 2013 Scion TC, starting at 19480. What happened last night? Apparently we went to Jack in the Box at 1.54 a.m. and got nine orders of tacos, four season curly fries, and seven real ice cream shakes. So who drove us home? I did. Oh, why are you still here? He dared you to eat my key. And why don't you call a cab? He dared you to eat my phone. <laughs> On the next NFL Monday QB, can RG3 continue to shine against a Rams defense that picked off Matthew Stafford three times in week one? And will the Jets offense rally around Mark Sanchez as they battle with the Steelers? NFL Monday QB, Monday at 6.30, only on CBS Sports Network. AIDS treatments can have serious side effects, and many infections are drug resistant. If you think you don't need to protect yourself, you're dead wrong. CBS cares. Brent Stover in New York coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. Early highlights as Louisiana Monroe goes after another monumental upset. Fifth-ranked Florida State home for Wake. Twelfth-ranked Ohio State at the shoe for upset-minded Cal. And the Horned Frogs visiting Kansas. Houston Nutt joins me for the Verizon Halftime Report. But for now, back out to West Point for Ben Holden and Randy Cross. Guys. Thanks a lot, Brent. We appreciate it. 21-7 to score here. Northern Illinois with a two-touchdown lead. But Army, as you pointed out, Randy, critical drive. They've got to find a way to get in. And the time of possession, good. But the scoreboard's the most important two numbers in this one. Yeah, time of possession means nothing when you're giving up 17 yards a pop yeah. to the other team. Not only is it important you score here, but the, the, the coaches and the defenders for Army have to figure out a way to at least put a little hitch in the giddy-up of Northern Illinois offense. They have done little to get to Jordan Lynch and he's got them big time in this game an 88 yard touchdown run and had the touchdown pass on a terrific catch. Uh, their tight end. Steelman gives way Dixon up the middle trying to break free of Stone drags him inside the 10 as the Black Knights march deep into Northern Illinois territory. Now if you want a reason why you don't want to take or you want to take away the fullback, watch this play. They don't take away the fullback. The defensive end gets too far up the field. That means a huge gash for Dixon. A gash that was 17 yards. Army working it down a little closer down to near the three yard line. You saw, saw Joe Windsor, that defensive end. Yep. He, not like he didn't close, but he closed and got up the field. You get up the field, you leave that big crease for the fullback. Here they go again. Steelman gave it off to Dixon. He plows his way in for the touchdown for Army. And they're right back in the ball game. Well, that left side of Jeb and Allen the center powers did a very nice job and that was just flat a, a, a case for the fullback Dixon would not be denied he reached in there with that touchdown three yards for Larry Dixon Daniel Grochowski on the freshman the plebe as they say here at West Point they love his leg and he missed it he missed it so he pushed it it's a Eight-point game, but Army gets a vital touchdown on that drive with 4.16 remaining in the first half. I have no idea as to how I'm going to be paying for college. I'm the second oldest of 14 children. I'm currently working five nights a week. 
I am paying for law school on my own. Let me tell you about my goals, my ambitions. I'm really passionate about human rights policy making. I want to help a lot of people in my life start my own business. I want to make an impact on my community. I'm pleased to present you with this check for $100,000. Dr. Pepper is giving away over a million dollars in tuition. Share your story at drpepper.com. The Dr. Pepper tuition giveaway. 4G LTE has the fastest speeds. So let's talk about coverage. Based on this chart, who would you choose? Wow. <laughs> Just take a minute. Verizon, hands down. I'm going to show you guys another chart. <laughs> pretty obvious. I don't think color matters. Pretty obvious. What's pretty obvious about it? <laughs> Verizon has the coverage. <laughs> Verizon. We're going to go to another chart. It doesn't really matter how you present it. I tell you what. It doesn't matter how you present it. Verizon. More 4G LTE coverage than all other networks combined. The next generation of investing technology is now within your grasp with the E-Trade 360 Investing Dashboard. E-Trade 360 is the world's first investing homepage that shows you where all your investments are and what they're doing. With free streaming quotes, news, analysis, and even your trade ticket, everything exactly the way you want it, all on one page. Transform your investing with the E-Trade 360 Investing Dashboard. Well, the Black Knights missing that point after it is three. The, the makeup of that field goal and PAT unit, all freshmen. Grachowski, the kicker, Andrew Ellerson, the coach's son, and A.J. Schur, all freshmen. And some growing pains, I suppose, and that was the case. The Army drive, they marched 10 plays, 73 yards, 429, and Larry Dixon. The sophomore out of Bremerton, Washington, plowed in from three out. Eric Osteen from the 35. What do you think of that change? Well, plenty of time now. We, we're going to find out if the defensive coaches and the defensive players for Army have any answer for Lynch and company on the offensive side for Northern Illinois, who have put on quite a display here with about five minutes of time of possession. Impressive, and this will force the dangerous, to say the least, Tommy Lee Lewis five yards deep, and he takes it. He Jordan Lynch, they haven't touched him at all, Randy. Yet. Well, didn't get near him when he threw this wonderful pass. It was a great catch for the touchdown. But here, this is a play where the first tackle was missed, and after that, they paid gigantic on that big 88-yard touchdown run. You've, uh, you've seen the definition of a dual threat quarterback when looking at Mr. Lynch. Two years he sat behind Chandler Harnish and finally getting his opportunity in the possessions for Northern Illinois. Pretty simple. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Well, three possessions, three touchdowns, five minutes and 14 seconds of time of possession. There is Lynch. Up the gut. Upended, taken down, and... Good pick up for Lynch on first down. Kyle Maxwell on the stop for Army. Hi, I'm Sadat, one of the defensive coordinators, Chris Smeelan, co defensive coordinator. Smeelan works up in the booth. Six yard pick up there for Lynch. Now he's looking at Chuck one downfield. Got a man out there. Perfect ball! And Tommy Lee Lewis has struck again. Jordan Lynch with as good as you can throw that ball and Tommy Lee Lewis doing the rest. 69 yards. Yep. Jordan Lynch does a nice job. Play action fake up the middle and that sets up Tommy Lee Lewis on that 69 yard touchdown reception. He drops that perfectly over the top. Wow. They haven't had the ball for more than five and a half minutes. They have four touchdowns to show for it. Sims on for the point after. No problem from him. He's perfect four for four. And very similar to last year's game when they played in DeKalb when Northern Illinois had five drives that were under three minutes. Same today here so far. Well, you've got the, the field corner, so the most of the field is that way. You're going to play action this way. Watch the reaction by the defenders. That sets up the play. They are coming after Lynch. They come after Lynch. No problemo. 
We're going downtown with Tommy Lee Lewis. And Justin Trimble was just sort of left in the left in the wake on that throw. Jordan Lynch, so dangerous. They say he's he's a much and, and I believe you feel this way in terms of his running. We see it do him, he, see him doing it there with a passing, but his running ability is better than Chandler Harness, we, we believe. Is that the case? Well, I know I couldn't catch him. <laughs> Not that that's any standard. No, I think he's more of a, he's a complete dual threat. Okay. I think Harnish was more of a thrower. Yep. He throws the ball pretty well, but when you put on the way that he can run and the power with which he can do it, it's a pretty tough combo. Well, he's six for eight through the air for a buck 64, two touchdowns as it's run back by Crusetti and a decent return by John out across the 20-yard line to about the 23-yard line. Well, we've got an opportunity. Can let you know that Northern Illinois 28 points and 550 as well in the game. Hey, be sure to catch Trouble with the Curve from Warner Brothers Pictures. It's in theaters on September 21st. Well, three and a half, 334 to be precise, left in the first half. Ideally, if you're Army, you just possess the rest of this half. You yep. do not give the ball back to Northern Illinois. Northern Illinois right here, they're going to try to cause some confusion and possibly a turnover. Right up the middle of the trenches down there goes the fullback Larry Dixon. The ball, Jefferson in there, big 99 to help out. Well, they did it on that last possession. You said they got to get in. They did. We'll see if they can indeed possess it here for three and change in the half. Gain a four on that last carry by Larry Dixon. That was Maples in motion. Steelman now tossing Maples. Good speed. Trying to get outside. Ward's there. He's got great speed. Big pickup. A first down. And a good battle between those two. Yeah, but I don't care how fast you are as a defensive back. If you're giving up, a, I'll give you a break even, and I'm not moving. I mean, Ward is stationary, basically. And look at what Maples does. He just pulls away from him. Sure, he made the tackle, but Army will take that all day long if you can give him 10 yards or so. You match up a stationary player with a moving one, that's a loser for the D. Yes. Steelman fakes the first guy through is Dixon. Maples jumps over Clark and gets out to the 47-yard line here. Now a two and a half and counting here in the half. Good example there on the outside. You saw Crusetti throw a little cut block. This triple option offense, no matter who runs it, it's something you see the running backs do a lot of it, the offensive linemen do a lot of it. They spend a lot of time in the legs of defenders. Steelman looking to throw now, runs out of room, fires it up, and it's caught! A terrific job by Scott Williams to come back to the ball, and Steelman with some schoolyard football there, Randy. Yeah, that's a happy birthday. <laughs> you unwrapped the present you always wanted, and you weren't even looking. Jimmy Ward, little blitz there. Steelman got away from him, got that one off. Picked up eight. Steelman, this one deflected. They were looking to go back to Scott Williams there as a new number this season. Windsor got a piece of that one on the defensive front. Yeah, we've seen Joe Windsor do a nice job so far on some of the option stuff, getting in on the quarterback, Steelman, on a run. And in this case, he's coming in, and he does a good job. All D linemen always top. You can't get there, get the arms up, distract the quarterback, try to knock it down. Steelman one for three for that eight-yard completion two plays ago to Williams, and heavy hit delivered in there by Tyrone Clark again. Progar in there. Maple's going to come out and try to regroup after a heavy hit there. Northern Illinois timeout there, Ben. It is. Timeout. Northern Illinois. Their Game second two. timeout. 30 second timeout. For Maples and Frank Allen, a big part of that. Reset the game clock. Offensive One minute, line. 36 seconds. One minute. Bell Cow with their line and Brad Strimmel, our Connect sideline reporter, very good friends. And uh, you've done some training with Frank, correct, Brad? 
Exactly. Uh, uh, you can see Frank's athleticism on the field, but what you're not going to see is what he can do in the swimming pool. I actually got to take a uh, survival swimming class with him where we were swimming with our rifles and gear on, real heavy stuff, facing our fears in the waves, jumping off 10-meter platforms. And Frank not only passed the class, but he excelled. I mean, this is a 260-pound guy, 6'4", huge man, absolutely awesome at swimming. It just displays the athleticism of an Army football player. That's a great example, Brian. I mean, how many guys 6'4", 260, do you know that swim that well? One? <laughs> I love the fact that they were. Uh, they also had to do part of that swim with a, with a weapon. Gun, a pack. Wow. Great stuff. Thanks, Brad. We appreciate it. That kind of weight, all I do is sink. <laughs> Raymond Maples has left that Army backfield. And that's why he's left. He's was dinged up on that hard hit. And they give it to the fullback. Dixon gets it inside the 40. And Ken Bishop in there to help out on the tackle. Timeout taken. Timeout. Northern Illinois, their final timeout of the half. 30-second timeout. There you go. The explanation from our referee there. And at 87 seconds remaining here in the first half of play. Army trying to chip away at what now is a 15-point deficit. I want to remind you, tonight at 7 Eastern, our studio crew will wrap up the entire day of action in the nation's best conference on SEC Tonight, presented by Geico, only on CBS Sports Network. Well, don't forget, coming up here after this timeout, Northern Illinois is trying to set up their next possession, but they have the next two possessions in mind mm -hmm. because Army took the opening kick of the first half. So Northern Illinois, Coach Dorn and company, they know they've got the ball coming out at, at halftime. So getting these two back to back, that's what makes this fourth down just gigantic. Because you're going to have to give not only Northern Illinois, if you don't get this first, you give it to them now, but they're going to get it again after the half. Black Knights are one for two on fourth down. Had one earlier in this quarter in which they opted to go for it was seven. They need three here. Steelman pitching. Frazier's got good speed. Got room. Gets the first down and then some. Down just, in, well, right at the 30. They're going to spot him. It was Jimmy Ward, the junior out of Mobile, Alabama, that got him. You know, Jimmy Ward's having a heck of a game. They're putting him in a position to have that game. Here he is at that hybrid kind of safety slash linebacker. He makes the tackle. But the key there really was the fact that Stephen Frazier got right up field. Huge conversion by Rich Ellerson's offense as Dixon takes. Sean Progar, the senior, made the tackle. Under a minute remaining now. And now no timeouts for Northern Illinois or Army. Steelman giving way, Dixon. Getting a lot of work on this drive, and it's going to bring up a third and short for the Black Knights. Well, it's one thing to possess the ball, but now you're down in this close. Wow, do you want a touchdown if you're Army, and if you're Northern Illinois, you don't want to give up any points right here going in. Saw the sheriff for their secondary, Jimmy Ward, but Maples, good sign for the Black Knights as Raymond Maples gets it inside the 15 for a first down. So get your defense from the sideline if you're Northern Illinois. If your Army already have a play called, set the chains, clock stops. Steelman, there it is, spikes it. And we've got 18 seconds remaining now. In this first half. Maybe Ian Shields will go empty here. <laughs> I'm hoping. Well, you know, the, the way they're running the ball, you've got 18 seconds. Yep. Here's your decision-making process. You've got second down. Are you willing to do something you're not particularly good at, which is throw it, and do that two more times and then try a field goal? Or are you willing to take a run right here and then get on the ball and spike it again so you'll have the time to kick the field goal? Here we go, Steelman gave it off. Dixon breaks it down. Well, it's the old shortest distance between two points is a straight line or when in doubt, just go right at him. 
And that's exactly what they did to Coach Doran's defense. They just attacked. Larry Dixon with the fullback. There was no guile to that. And they got the regular offense in there, so going to go for two here, try to make up for that missed extra point. 28-19, second touchdown of the day for Larry Dixon. Empty backfield, no fullback. There we go. Maybe we'll see it now. We are. Let me trying to get it back to a seven-point game. Steelman Maples got that speed, trying to get around. Progar can't. Good job by Sean Progar to get out there and make the tackle there. The senior showing up on that two-point conversion attempt. Yeah, Progar lines up at that right defensive end and just does a really nice job of doing that. It's a speed play. Progar won't be fooled. That's, that's a beautiful job defensively. Touchdown, and there's Progar again. That's who they're reading. So as Progar gets up the field, he doesn't take away the fullback. He goes after the quarterback. Steelman hands him the ball. That's just want to by Dixon. Dixon bounced off a couple of tackles. He easily could have gone down at the five, but he had no plans on doing that. That was sloppy tackling by Northern Illinois, who had uh, kind of one foot in the locker room for halftime <laughs> yeah. on that last play. Well, it was a 13-yard run by Dixon. He had a three-yard run earlier. The Army scoring drive, or as I like to say, the march downfield, 13 plays, 77 yards, and it took three minutes and 22 seconds. So we've got a dozen seconds left in this one. Trying to get free, flat comes in from the referee right in the middle of the field, about 15 yards behind the play, so we'll get the penalty Going call. To return, legal blocking it back, number 83 of the offense. That penalty's half the distance from the spot of the foul, first down. Penalty called on Luke Ekis, one of their tight ends, and there's Lewis, who's factored into the offense twice in this game, once on a run, a reverse, and then a, just a beautifully thrown ball. By Lynch. You know, uh, short of g coming out in the victory formation going into the half where you're just going to kneel on it, the Army defense has to assume this is a deep pass. Even if they do line up like this, just be sure. Down to the knee, and they end the half. And as Randy pointed out, yes, Northern Illinois will receive the second half kick. Jordan Lynch was outstanding. In our first half of play, Tommy Lee Lewis involved at the half. 28-19 Northern Illinois. Verizon Halftime Report with Brent Stover and Houston Nutt coming your way next. Gus, you home? 9 o'clock in the morning. Where the hell else would I be? My father is a baseball scout. I grew up around men who drank and swore. Son of a... What happened? My garage is starting to shrink. If I don't do my job, the Braves will get somebody else. In spite of you, I feel this dysfunctional sense of responsibility to make sure that you're okay. I'm not helpless. No, you are crazy. One of those for me? Nope. Trouble with the Curve. Rated PG-13. Starts September 21st. When the game is winding down, our experts are just warming up. Join us as we break down all the SEC action with highlights, in-depth analysis, and more. Don't miss SEC Tonight, presented by GEICO. Tonight at 7, only on CBS Sports Network. Like the official beer of NFL fans who do whatever it takes. Here we go. Wow. He just sent me a text meant for another girl. No way. Serious? Oh, there he is. Reject. Voice controlled calling on the Galaxy S3. So I guess I'm free this evening. Available at Verizon. When I was younger, I didn't want to admit I had a serious disease. I wanted to fit in. I wanted to be a normal kid. Because of my diabetes, 
I lost the sight in my left eye. Misconceptions continue to surround this monster public health issue, but the simple truth is, diabetes can often be prevented and complications avoided. I think if I had just been open and honest about what my challenges were, I think it would have been easier for me to take better care of myself. If you don't take care of yourself when you're younger with this condition, it will catch up to you later on. You're gonna find the courage to manage this disease for the rest of your life by reaching out for help. Reach out to people who care about you, reach out to people who know how to help you with this disease. You're not alone. Understand the realities of diabetes and know that you can manage it and lead a full, active life. The traditional facelift surgery requires an incision be made along the hairline near the temple and then goes around. Now the traditional facelift surgery the traditional facelift surgery. The traditional... Miss Thompson. Now, the traditional facelift surgery requires an incision be made along the hairline. Anyone can wear a white coat, but not everyone is board certified in plastic surgery. Be safe. Be sure your doctor is a member of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. This is the Verizon Halftime Report on CBS Sports Network. All right, welcome in for the Verizon Halftime Report. Brent Stover and Houston Nutt. Coach, what did you see out there at West Point in the opening half? This is a good football game. Unbelievable. Northern Illinois quarterback's doing a good job. He's six out of nine. Army's offense has the triple option, <laughs> and they've been up and down the field. That's not the problem. It's Army's defense. they got to stop somebody. And they are down 28-19 at halftime. Wake Forest pulled off the upset over the Seminoles. 35-30 last season. Could they make it happen against the fifth-ranked Florida State Seminoles? This time in Tallahassee, Chris Thompson, 74 yards coach for the score. Boy, showing an unbelievable amount of quickness right here. Hits a crease, gets down the sideline for a touchdown. Big play. 21-0 on the Demon Deacons. Thompson next drive. Again, this one for 80 yards. He's got 197 already. I'll tell you, Thompson's showing real speed right here. He separates himself, and right now, a little bit more athleticism on that side of the, uh, of the field. FSU hasn't had a 200-yard rusher since 88. He's three yards away. Big lead there. Braxton Miller and Ohio State take on Cal. Designed run, breaks some ankles, and gallops in for the touchdown. Braxton Miller is getting more and more comfortable with this offense. As you see, each weekend, he's getting better and better. He's got 64 yards rushing and more than 100 through the air on 10 of 14. He hits Devin Smith from 25 yards out. 20 to 7, Ohio State leads. Louisiana Monroe shocked the football world, beating Arkansas. One week ago, what do they have in store for Auburn today? A check in on that game and more when we come back. They gave me a great opportunity. I've learned a lot and I've had a blast. I worked on a PhD level research project that will ultimately save lives. I served as a public diplomat teaching English in the Congo. It was awesome. I improved water quality and sanitation for villagers in Honduras. I worked on a bionic foot for amputees at Walter Reed Medical Center. I had an amazing experience in Nicaragua that you can't get in a classroom. I'm a leader. I'm making a difference. I'm a cadet at West Point. As a child, Leroy Homer dreamed of flying a plane. He gave his life on September 11th as first officer of Hijack Flight 93 that crashed into Pennsylvania Field. For his heroic actions, he was made an honorary member of the Tuskegee Airmen and received the Congressional Gold Medal. His love of flying lives on through the Leroy Homer Foundation, which dedicates itself to supporting children's dreams to fly. Help turn these dreams into reality. Learn more at LeroyHomer.org. CBS Cares. Is it a 20-minute shorter wash cycle? Or a 20-minute longer laugh cycle? Is it 20% less time in here? Or 20% more time out here? Is it 20% more storage capacity? Or 20% more fun capacity? LG's innovative line of appliances let you fast forward to moments that matter. So, is it an appliance or something better? Homicide of young people in America has an impact on all of us. How can we save these young people's lives? As a police chief, I have an opportunity to affect what happens in a major city. If you want to make a difference, you have to have the right education. University of Phoenix opened the door. 
My name is James Cray. I'm committed to making a difference, and I am a Phoenix. Visit phoenix.edu to find the program that's right for you. Enroll now. It doesn't matter where they are. You saw them kids up there? You guys are heroes to them. Or what uniform they're wearing. How they train. Or what they're training for. They are here to defend, to fight, and to win. There is no try. There is no almost. This is the home of Army football. Chances are you're not made of money, so don't overpay for boat insurance. GEICO. See how much you could save. 28-19 Army trails, but Larry Dixon, one of his two first-half touchdowns, he's got 71 yards on the ground, but again, trailing Northern Illinois, 28-19. Louisiana Monroe, now 1-23, all-time against ranked opponents after knocking off Arkansas last Saturday. Today they tried to make it 2-0 against the SEC this year against 0-2 Auburn. We're scoreless in the first. ULM goes for it. Fourth and goal. Colton Browning back of the end zone for Harley Cino. It's 7-0. Now 7-7. Browning breaks it off. 39 yards for the touchdown. And the Warhawks lead 14-7. But trickery. Kyle Frazier for Quan Bray. And now Quan Bray back to the quarterback. Frazier takes it in for six. Tied at 14 deep in the second quarter. Not been easy for Auburn. Has not been easy, but look at the confidence, though, of Louisiana Monroe. Mm -hmm. Colton Browning up and down the field, play action, running the football, throwing it. They're feeling good about themselves. And fourth and goal, opening the game. They go for it and they get the touchdown. That's a confident team. Pitt 0 and 2, taking on Virginia Tech at home. Not a huge crowd at Heinz Field. Somehow, Panthers trying to get up for it. And coach, they did. Ray Graham, 12 yard touchdown, up 7 0. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of surprise people right now. Pittsburgh is getting after the Hokies, and they're executing very well. Good job right here. Good throw to the receiver, drops it right in on a post corner route. Tito Sinceri for Devin Street, and Graham, second touchdown of the day from five yards out. 21 3 pit, kind of a surprise. I want to tell you what, when you watch that game, boy, Pittsburgh is physical, and you got to give them credit. They came to play today. Makes it really makes you wonder why they're 0-2 coming into the game with a Absolutely. couple of bad losses, including Youngstown State. That's why they play them, home game, and now Virginia Tech has to come back. We will check in on TCU on the road at Kansas. Nebraska trying to avoid an upset against Arkansas State. Highlights of those when we come back. You missed the bouquet toss. Are you sure? Yeah. I get all my friends' picks as soon as they take them. Really? You just missed an awesome dance-off between the dads. Oh, wow. <laughs> you just missed a cake fight. Seriously? Everyone's taking pictures like they're paparazzi. <laughs> Are we missing that? We're not. Check it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Get all your friends' photos automatically with ShareShot on the Galaxy S3. Hey, first dance. Are you kidding me? Available at Verizon. Where can a marketing administrator watercraft engineer? Where can a doctor serve his community while also treating patients around the world? Where can a student stay in school while expanding his education beyond the classroom? In the U.S. Army Reserve, you'll find the strength to develop new skills and gain an edge to get ahead. There's strong, and then there's Army strong. Visit GoArmy.com reserve. At the General, we offer real discounts that can lower the cost of your car insurance. Whether you need minimum required limits or higher, just go to thegeneral.com or call for a free quote. Right now, monthly payments are as low as $39, and you'll receive instant proof of insurance. Why pay more? Get a free quote now and find out how low your monthly payment can be. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the General and save some time. It doesn't matter where they are. You saw them kids up there? You guys are heroes to them. Or what uniform they're wearing. How they train. Or what they're training for. Right 
They are here to defend, to fight, and to win. There is no try. There is no almost. This is the home of Army football. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Bud Light, the official beer of NFL fans who do whatever it takes. Here we go. Louisiana Monroe, Auburn, end of the half, Kyle Frazier. Kyle Frazier, broken down play. He escapes, finds some time, and throws a Hail Mary in the back of the end zone. Touchdown. This will do wonders for his confidence right here. They've got the 21-14 edge. TCU in Kansas, Gary Patterson, Big 12 opener for them. They've lost three straight to KU, but first meeting since 97. Casey Pawhall, Brandon Carter there for the score. 10-6 TCU in the third. The Blackshirts gave up 653 yards at UCLA in last week's loss. Trying to bounce back against Arkansas State. Here's Amir Abdullah from Taylor Martinez. Taylor Martinez looking very nice on the, on the play-action pass. Fakes it, throws it down the sideline. Big play, then comes back and throws a beautiful fade route touchdown. Kenny Pell, 42 yards, 28-3 in that game. Bethune-Cookman at Miami, first quarter. Miami down seven. Duke Johnson, 95 yards on the return. I'll tell you, this is a tough game to play. Nah, very many people know staying, so your players have got to get up, but this helps the situation. Duke Johnson, speed, takes it all the way back on the kickoff return. 17-7, Canes with the lead. Head out to West Point moments. Coach, what do we expect? Second half with the Black Knights down 28-19. I'll tell you, Army's offense has been so impressive because, boy, they're just deliberate in their physical and they're running course the triple option. Assignment football and defense. Uh, on the other side, Jordan Lynch doing an excellent job of handling the offense, distributing the ball. They can move the ball. Mm. Somebody's got to play some defense and stop somebody. For Army, 71 yards for Dixon, 90 yards and 12 carries, and a touchdown for Raymond Maples. And Steelman, the quarterback, has gone over 50 yards. Back out to West Point for the second half. After this, you've been watching the Verizon Halftime Report. This has been the Verizon Halftime Report, presented by America's largest 4G LTE network. Away. Is the smell of salt in the air. It's the sound a seashell makes. Away is a place that's beyond your imagination yet well within your means. Find your way. For a dealer in the RV that's right for you, visit GoRVing.com. Chances are you're not made of money. So don't overpay for boat insurance. GEICO. See how much you could save. There are a few who move toward the sounds of chaos. Forged in the crucible of training, they are the first to move toward the sounds of tyranny, injustice, and despair. They are the few, the proud, the Marines. The reigning, defending, Johnny Bones Jones! He might be the greatest that we've ever seen in the UFC. The former UFC heavyweight, a light heavyweight champion. That's how fast Vitor can end fights. John Jones! Vitor Belfort! 
four. Absolutely oh, right. That was amazing. Joseph Benavidez. Demetrius Johnson. Great action from these flyweights. Oh, he See that? The Brian Stan. Michael Bisping. They gave me a great opportunity. I've learned a lot and I've had a blast. I worked on a PhD level research project that will ultimately save lives. I served as a public diplomat teaching English in the Congo. It was awesome. I improved water quality and sanitation for villagers in Honduras. I worked on a bionic foot for amputees at Walter Reed Medical Center. I had an amazing experience in Nicaragua that you can't get in a classroom. I'm a leader. I'm making a difference. I'm a cadet at West Point. Know what? What? Since I got adopted, I've learned a lot about these humans. Uh, I know. I mean, check out these two. It's Flirt City over here. Yeah, I noticed that. It looks like my human is definitely into your human. Oh, look! I think she's getting his number. Nice. Your human's got some sweet moves. Takes after his dog. <laughs> oh, look, they're doing that thing where they put their arms around each other. She kicked up a leg. It's like in the movies. That's awesome. Looks like we're going to be hanging out a little bit more. He's looking in the tight end. Instead, now the other option. That's going to be a tough play. He pulled that baby in. As Lynch gets into open field, leg, and Lynch continues to go and it gets free. And Jordan Lynch to the house. Here they go again. Steelman gave it off to Dixon. He plows his way in. Here we go, Steelman gave it off. Dixon breaks a tackle, Larry Dixon into the end zone. That's the other way they can do it. Take that baby right in there. Well, some of our sights and sounds from the first half. A lot of scoring, great to be with you here on a beautiful day here at Mikey Stadium alongside Randy Cross. Our cadet sideline reporter is Brad Stribble. My name is Ben Holden. It's an honor and a pleasure to be with you here from Mikey Stadium. Randy, the numbers in the opening half, what stands out? Well, I mean, a time of possession just jumps out at you, but look at all the first downs that Army has and Northern Illinois didn't need. It was all about the big play. 5.6 for Army, 16.4. Now, that's not one play. That's per play they ran. That's tough stuff. Those are our stats brought to you by Five Hour Energy. Time now for our Geico Difference Makers. And one of those guys, number 26 there in the black uniform, Larry Dixon. Uh, beautiful job by Dixon. Just would not be denied most of his runs. He's doing the dirty work inside. Two touchdowns, a short one and a little bit longer range. And then Jordan Lynch, what do you say about him? He's on fire. Well, he's done a beautiful job as far as throwing the ball, then very accurate in running the ball. It was all set up by his big 88-yard run he had early in the game. They were shutting down the running back run with Settle, and they suddenly didn't account for Lynch, and boy, did Lynch make them play. He certainly did, and Jordan Lynch, you talked about it. He's a multi-threat guy, and via the eye tracker. Well, defense is thinking running back, and what Northern Illinois does is they do the old seal, seal, and giddy up. <laughs> Love it. Because not a, the first tackler puts a hand on him roughly about 50 yards down the field. Yeah. He breaks an arm tackle, he breaks another arm tackle, and then he gets a touchdown and a ridiculous illegal celebration penalty. Oh. He, Shush the Northern Illinois fans twice. This is Tommy Lee Lewis bringing it out. He's wrapped up and greeted immediately. It was Brandon Fusilier Jeffries, the freshman, who made the stop there. Now, a new feature we've added here on our games at Army. Coach Cross, Randy, if you're inside the locker room, what do you tell the Huskies? I say, I tell them I claim no, no credit for that illustration. <laughs> but it. hey, look, change nothing offensively. De defensively, stop watching the Army option and attack it and tackle. Your eyes even blink and everything, man. Isn't that's, that something? That's gorgeous. Wow. Good work by the even graphics got, folks. Even got the gray hair down. <laughs> Here is Lynch on the run. Tough throw, fires, and it's caught by 
Perez Ashford now. Let's take you inside the locker room here at Mikey Stadium. You're Rich Ellerson. Coach Cross, what do you tell him? Uh, a little less warm and fuzzy. Offense, keep doing what you're doing. Defense, welcome to Mikey Stadium. You plan on playing any time in the next 30 minutes? Because yeah. that first half was not very pretty. Jordan Lynch out of the gun. Too wide to the far side. Instead brings it back in a dangerous throw. It was into the hands of Martell Moore. But Tyler Dixon was there to get in his way a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that play right there could have been big. But Martell's, he felt a little presence around him. He got his hands on the ball, but kind of got the feeling he felt it might be a little unhealthy if he brought that ball all the way into his body. Yeah. Big third and short coming up. They hand off Akeem Daniels trying to burrow his way through there. He's going to be close, but looking at the spot, Randy, I think he's going to be a little shy. What yeah. do you think? Near side's marking at 26 and a half yard line, or 25 and a half yard line. You need to get to the 26. So it's going to be fourth and about a foot. Nate Combs made the stop, and Daniels, we've called his name more than we've called Leighton Settle. I believe Settle's only got a couple carries, and in fact, he had one in the first half. They're going to punt. And they're going to punt, and Navy's going to stay with the base defense. Army's going to stay with the base defense. I'm sorry. They're going to stay with the base and say, hey, look, if you're going to think about faking it, we've got our real defense on the field. We've seen a lot of Ryan Near, but not punting. He's held on four PATs. And he's a veteran guy and a good high-hanging punt. And no return at all for Josh Jackson. So Army's defense, they do the job on the first possession. 44 on the punt. We'll look at Steelman in the offense when we come back. Introducing Tropical Island Grill only at Golden Corral. This is island cooking at its best. It's breaded Cozumel Island shrimp, Fiji lemon pepper tilapia, and much more. It's all part of our endless dinner buffet, still for one low price, and it's only at Golden Corral. On the next NFL Monday QB, can RG3 continue to shine against the Rams defense that picked off Matthew Stafford three times in week one? And will the Jets offense rally around Mark Sanchez as they battle with the Steelers? NFL Monday QB, Monday at 6.30, only on CBS Sports Network. Lisa, I want some more. More? Well, we did say please. Please, and thank you. Pass it on. MCOR is a company of doers. We build, power, service, and protect structures of every kind, impacting millions of lives. That's not all we do. We also support our troops. We send packages with a little bit of home to those far from home. MCOR builds, power, service, protect, and support. No cure for Parkinson's today. But together we can put a cure within reach. The Michael J. Fox Foundation knows the cure will be powered by you. Let us show you how. Visit MichaelJFox.org to learn more. CBS Cares. College football on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by New True Biotics, a daily probiotic from the makers of One a Day. By MCOR. Build. Power, service, protect, and of course, support. And by PenFed, offering great rates on mortgages, auto loans, and credit cards. Visit PenFed.org. Look inside the Cadet Chapel. So elegant, so historic, like everything is here at the United States Military Academy. And, well, another one of those situations. Mikey Stadium, just like that. And, in the first half, Trent Steelman, 16 rushes, 51. He threw it three times and had an eight-yard completion to Scott Williams on that last drive that Army took in. They marched in down the field and got the touchdown on. They're down 28-19 here. Minute 20 gone in the third quarter. Steelman faked it. Now the pitch to Maples. Got a lead blocker and a great job by Crusetti there. That's finishing the block, eh, Randy? I tell you, that, that is exactly what you want. And, and there's an example. If you cut block enough times, they're going to get nervous about it. And here the nerves come in on the outside. 
Because as Crusetti gets closer and closer, run, run, try to play it off, and he just land, plant you on your back. So what's worse, getting cut blocked or getting, uh, yeah. getting planted like that if you're the cornerback? Different degrees of pain, I suppose, yeah. in both, yeah. right? I'd probably... Bad choice for Jason Allen yeah. or Justin Allen. Exactly. Dixon with the carry and Jimmy Ward, who's been all over the football field. Picked up six, did Larry Dixon. This is Army's opening possession here in this second half. Their first possession of the game. Ten rushes, 75 yards, and a 22-yard trot to the end zone by Maple. See what they do here to start the third. Dixon getting a lot of work, and a good effort from him to pick up the yardage. It's just first half continued. I mean, Army ran for 285 yards. I'm sure one of the themes in the locker room for the Northern Illinois defense was exactly what I was talking about. Don't watch, attack this option. Do your job, but do it while you're attacking. Maples now 13 rushes over 100 yards. And that 22-yard touchdown run from the top rushing team in the FBS last season. Steelman on the run. Forced out of bounds. That was Baxter, big number 90, that got over there to force him out. He's very active in the defensive end spot. Yeah, all these defensive ends from Northern Illinois, whether it's Progar or, or Baxter, just go down the list. They've done, I think, or, of all the defenders, they've been the standout players for me, I think. They've been very good, and they were very good their first game against Iowa. They had that game in control, that opening game, and Dave Dorn talked about playing in big environments. There were 60,000 at that game. And they took him right down, tooth and nail on the wire. Maples, good job to break free. He's wrapped up and dropped by Jimmy Ward. Ward again on the and stop. something that the Black Knights do for every game, they wear their uniform patch, Randy. A great honor for those in the armed forces, in the Army, the 10th Mountain Division this week's game patch they wear on their arm. 10th Mountain's done, done a lot of great work over in Iraq and Afghanistan. Should wear that patch proudly. Steelman keeps and if you're just joining us for our fourth year here on Army Football on CBS Sports Network. We have our cadet sideline reporter and today from Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania, Brad Strimmel, who trained with that division. Brad, tell us more. I was able to train with the 10th Mountain for about three weeks uh, up at Fort Drum, New York. Uh, 10th Mountain, very proud division, very historic division. They train for the, the difficult, the, the mountainous terrains, the hot weather. They're always, they're the most deployed unit since, I believe, the 2000s. Uh, very historic, very, I was very honored to train with them this summer. Very good, Brad, thanks. We know that Denise and Leon, your folks are proud of you today. You're making your national TV debut. Good job, good run by the Black Knights down to the 25 of Northern Illinois. Boy, if you were putting together a checklist, if you're Rich Ellerson, for your offense to start the half, this is exactly what you wanted. Your defense comes out, makes them punt the ball, and the offense is coming down, and they're just as precise as they were in the first half. They're crushing the run. Seven plays so far, 43 yards. That was on the Coach Cross rundown, right? It was on the checklist, yeah. <laughs> of course. So it was obvious. It, <laughs> plainly, it was very obvious. Yes. Obviously an important here. Steelman gets to a seed into the end zone. Touchdown, Army. Also on that checklist for Northern Illinois was stop watching defensively, start attacking. And I didn't see much attack on that 25-yard touchdown run by Trent Steelman. That was a great read. Didn't need the pitch. Couldn't hand the ball off with the way the defense reacted, and he executed it flawlessly. A.J. Sure, the holder. They've put in Frank Siba to long snap here, and the point after good. See the pit, they attack the fullback. When you attack the fullback like that, Steeman will make you pay. Tyrone Clark, the linebacker, gets in there. That leaves a big hole for Trent Steelman to take advantage.
Get ready for an interconference gridiron battle. Colorado will need to get the offense rolling to keep up with all Mountain West quarterback Derek Carr and the Fresno State Bulldogs. It's Colorado at Fresno State tonight at 8, only on CBS Sports Network. There aren't many things in the world that are absolutely free without some kind of catch. Well, today, there is no catch. Call now and get the new Warrior Tomahawk Hybrid Iron absolutely free. No gimmicks, no purchase necessary. Over a $200 retail value, free. All we ask is that you give us an accurate evaluation of the club's performance because your feedback is vitally needed before it's released to retail stores. Warrior makes this new 19-degree hybrid with extreme weighting technology. You'll hit this club longer and straighter than any other iron. Get the new Warrior Tomahawk Hybrid Iron today, and all you pay is for shipping and handling. Supplies are limited, so call now. Get the new Warrior Tomahawk Hybrid Iron today. It's time to make Warrior's Tomahawk Hybrid Iron your new weapon of choice. No purchase necessary and no catches. It's absolutely free. Call now. Listen up, America. Listen up, America. The recent health care bill will not take effect until at least 2014, leaving families and individuals lacking health insurance with no immediate solution to their concerns. But here's the good news. A health insurance hotline has been established to provide affordable health insurance for all uninsured Americans. And yes, uninsured Americans with pre-existing conditions. Call the health insurance hotline now and get you and your family covered today. A look into the Corps of Cadets. Very colorful group in there. 4,600 proud here today. Welcome upstairs to our broadcast booth alongside Randy Cross. My name is Ben Holden. Army coming out. In that first possession here in the third quarter, big stop, and then the O gets it going the other way. Just what the doctor ordered, get some stops, and that'll be one in a row for the Army defense. Now, if they can pile some of that on, the way the Army offense is executing, they're going to become as much of a problem in the second half for the Northern Illinois defense as the offense for Northern Illinois was for the Army defense in the first half. Absolutely, and we get set now for the kickoff here with a 28-26 count. Northern Illinois up by a deuce. Lewis thought about it, and Ashford said, yeah, you know what, just stay in there. You're five deep, so don't take any don't chances. Don't make me have to tackle you. <laughs> 9.53 to go. We'll be back with Northern Illinois on offense. You missed the bouquet toss. Are you sure? Yeah. I get all my friends' picks as soon as they take them. Really? We just missed an awesome dance-off between the dads. Oh, wow. <laughs> you just missed a cake fight. Seriously? Everyone's taking pictures like they're paparazzi. <laughs> Are we missing that? We're not. Check it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Get all your friends' photos automatically with ShareShot on the Galaxy S3. Hey, first dance. Are you kidding me? Available at Verizon. We asked over 3,000 doctors to review 5-Hour Energy. And what they said is amazing. Over 73% who reviewed 5-Hour Energy said they would recommend a low-calorie energy supplement to their healthy patients who use energy supplements. 73%. 5-Hour Energy has four calories and is used over 9 million times a week. Is 5-Hour Energy right for you? Ask your doctor. We already asked 3,000. When the game is winding down, our experts are just warming up. Join us as we break down all the SEC action with highlights, in-depth analysis, and more. Don't miss SEC Tonight, presented by GEICO. Tonight at 7, only on CBS Sports Network. At Enterprise Rent-A-Car, we hire more new college graduates every year than any other company. And many of us played college sports, too. Now we're all on the same team. Yours. Let us show you what that means. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Well, not only was Reno Norrie the best Northern Illinois football player at the midpoint of the program's history, the 5'6", 155-pounder was their number one athlete during the 1899 to 1949 era. He was known as the Phantom Finn. It was used, the nickname used by the local newspapers. He earned 17 varsity letters, part of the history of Northern Illinois' proud program. 1'7"? 1'17". 17. Time now, Randy, to take a look at our United States Postal Service play selection. We'll get back to that after this play from Lynch being chased by Combs.
comes in. A nice job. And a penalty flag comes in. Zach Watts, a little too much, says the referee. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Number 40, the defense. It's a 15-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. Automatic first down. You know, boo, boo all you want, but that ball is clearly gone. That twisting down and throwing down the quarterback once that ball is gone. I don't care what level it is, it's going to be considered unnecessary. Great effort by Combs, though, putting that pressure on initially and forcing that throw away. First and 10 from the 40 for the Huskies. Out to the 40 it goes. I am Sadat, the defensive coordinator down on the sidelines. Hoping his guys can come up with a second consecutive stop. They're going downfield. Floated up. Ashford, great throw, great catch. And Dixon dropped him in the vicinity of the 15-yard line. Just shy, actually, the 16. What a throw and what a catch. I, I, the amazing thing for, Jor for Jordan Lynch is watch how quickly this ball comes out of his hands. It's one, two, three. It's like a three-step drop. But he arches it and drops it right in over the top to Ashford. He's now 8 for 11 in completion. Also has two touchdowns and over 200 yards. 44 on that pitch and catch, and it was pretty. Lynch fakes it. Now trying to get a block. And Bacon, Jeffrey Bacon wrapped him up, spun him out of bounds near the 15-yard line. Now, Jeffrey Bacon, there's a guy we haven't talked much You're about. Right. Yeah. He's a player that has to have much more of an impact on this defense, especially in these circumstances. He has got to be able to go sideline to sideline and make the tackles in those big spots, and we haven't seen much of that coming from the inside. Sophomore out of Milwaukee. Second down and eight. Lynch pressured Combs, floats it, and it's knocked away! What a play! And the secondary there by Justin Trimble. And not only wonderful pressure inside by Nate Combs, he gets inside and pressures the quarterback, Lynch. But Trimble having the best, I guess, trait you'd want for a defensive player. He's had some problems so far in this game, but he didn't let it affect him. He didn't remember. He had a, a blank mind and made a great play. Third down, they throw the slant, and there is Tommy Lee Lewis. And his helmet hit, came off. He's got to leave. Yep, he's got to go on to the game for one play. The pass is complete. Game first and goal. Down. Yeah, game first and goal 10. now. First and goal from the four. Lynch down in front of the core. Cadets are making all the noise they can. Fakes the handoff. Now looking to follow his tight end. Down near the goal line. Fumble. He lost Fumble. it. And it's recovered by Army. The Black Knights alert and on it. And he, he dropped that ball here, fumbled that ball just as it was he was reaching for the goal line. Nate Combs ended up on top of it for the fumble recovery, and they're no doubt going to review this play because the question will be, as he was straining and was reaching... ...into the end zone and recovered by Army, which was a touchback. However, the previous play is under further review. So the question is, if he was not down as he was stretching, did he get to the goal line before the ball came out? Now, if, you, if we have another view of that, They'll look at that upstairs, all the views available. Here comes Lynch. Is he down one? If he's not down, as soon as it creases, and it looks like it creased before it was fumbled, I think that's a touchdown yeah, I do for too. Northern Illinois. I do too. Great angle, great work by our camera crew to we're show us that. Remember, it doesn't matter what happens once it does that as a, as a runner. Once it creases the plane and becomes a touchdown, plays, I mean, the game's off. It doesn't really matter. It's, it's a touchdown. It's another look. See, hold it right there. Now, here's the goal line. Here's the goal line right here, and the goal line also goes that way, too. 
So remember, and, and, and picture it a plane. Now keep going a little bit where he comes down and stop it where the ball hits the ground. See, now it hits the, right there, oh, stop. Yeah. See, that is clearly over the line and the ball is still in his possession. Mm -hmm. So that is the touchdown for Northern Illinois because his knees were not down. So everybody waiting, holding their breath if you're, well I suppose either team's holding their breath to see another look at it. See again, he has broke it, the shadow right there. That ball is over that goal line, only has to crease it and there are no knees, nothing is touching inside. Not an, el not an elbow, not his arm, nothing. So that is, uh, that's a touchdown for Northern Illinois. Waiting for the official word on that. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a touchdown unofficially. Right. <laughs> They're going through it. They see what we see on those reviews and both teams just kind of standing around saying, all right, what are we doing? Do we need our defense if you're Northern Illinois or do we need our special teams unit out for the point after attempt as Dave Doran looks on and Jordan Lynch as well. One more time. As it goes to the ground, they'll stop. See, to before that, if you stopped it right at the, at the bottom when this ball was actually kind of pointed this way, it is clearly in Lynch's hands right mm -hmm. there. See, it's clearly in his hands here. So once that's creased over the line, the second at the point of that ball creased that goal line. Then yep. it's a touchdown. Adage, the ground can't cause the fumble. And still very carefully, the review officials Rich Ellerson, love to see this obviously be a second stop and a forced turnover for his guys here in the second half. And I believe, Randy, we're close. We'll get the word from the referee. After further review, the rolling on the field stands as called. Wow. Did they take into account? What, what else could they take into account on that look? Don't know. I thought he had the ball. Thought it was over the goal line. Certainly looked like it. That's why I don't wear a striped shirt, That's I guess. That's why we're up here, yeah. yeah. Rich Ellerson loves it, his defense, and the core of cadets loving it, as number eight, Steelman, back on in front of that core. And it's up to the defense now for Northern Illinois. You have to represent your team. You don't have to make up for that call or make up for that touchback, but you have to make the point that you're gonna stop this offense for Army. Dixon gets the handoff. He is running well, and he gets a first down, does Larry Dixon. See, now, if you're watching this back in Evansville, you're, you're back in Northern Illinois, let, let, let's be honest. It's not, that's a touchdown. He's over before that it ball is comes too. out. It's not, it's not like a catch you have to control through the entire process. Right. Dixon, 17 rushes, 101, and you can make it 18 for, well, it's a couple on that carry. Tough Dixon running for again. Larry Dixon. Grew up in a military household. His mom was a chief in the Navy. So he knew, he knew a little something about military life when he got here to West Point. Yeah, that and moving. Yeah, exactly. Most military kids are familiar with transfers. Yep, they are. So we're halfway through this third quarter. And again, Army's looking to the sideline. They're looking to their, their, their big placards down there for their play calls. And Ooh. Northern Illinois, apparently, they got it right in terms of what they guessed on or what they went for off that placard because they blow that play up. Yeah, that was Progar and Allen Baxter we've talked a little bit about today doing a heck of a job there, being right on the spot for that stop. Progar, the leader of that D-line. Baxter, a starter a season ago, along with Nabal Jefferson. Bishop, the other guy up there when they go to the four-man front, is the newcomer to that group. 
Steelman. He'll pitch. Maples gets a block. Nice block from Larry Dixon. And Maples goes flying into the Northern Illinois bench area, but a first down for Army. Bass made the stop. You know, Ben, when you're doing this offense, you'll hear an awful lot of what it means to play with the ball or without the ball. Here's playing without the ball. Larry Dixon, 26. Nice block. He springs his running back. So if you're going to play for Ellerson in this offense, you better be good at both. Perfect example there, I suppose, of playing smart away from the ball yep. when you, and when you don't have the ball. Without the ball. Yep. You always hear coaches talk about that, especially, as Randy said, in this offense. Maples finds a seam and drags a defender. Bass came in to finish him off. And he gets down to the Northern Illinois 46-yard line. Deshaun Durant there, another one of their secondary players, their strong safety. This offense is starting to wear on Northern Illinois. They're making quite a few substitutions along that defensive front, too. Five and a half. Left in this third quarter. Maples, huge day, 132 yards before that play. And time now to take a look at our Armed Forces Greatest Legend today. They're presented by Penn Fed and John Ellerson. If the name sounds familiar, Army fans, it should. And his brother, Rich, the head coach, he was a captain in 62 and a proud family here at West Point, the Ellersons. Andrew Ellerson, a Plebe, as they say on post, a freshman in football terms. They keep it the freshman, sophomore, junior, senior way for football. To keep it from confusing folks. It's Plebe in freshman years. Yuck, a cow, and a firsty. That's what they're the seniors of the firsties. That play right there is a, is a great example for me. There's Northern Illinois playing the option perfectly. They took away the fullback, took away the quarterback. Maples had nowhere to go. Just had to run out of bounds. Well done. Loss of one. Second down and 11. You see the rush yards up top, and Army approaching 400 on the ground. As Randy said, Northern Illinois trying to keep up with it. Here's Maples. Gets away, breaks a tackle, and he is upended sidelines as Deshaun Durant lowered the boom there, but a big run for Raymond Maples. Remember, Northern Illinois coach, Coach Durant, made the point early. You can't play the Army without thinking about discipline, and you have to have discipline. Right now, his, his defense does not have consistent discipline of their basics against this offense. I want to remind you, today's first down line is being brought to you by Navy Federal Credit Union. First guy through is Dixon. Inside the 20, they get into the red zone, down to about the 19-yard line. Big day from Dixon, big day from Maples. We saw Baggett with a carrier too early, and they've had to take, had to take him out. We saw him in the first half with a bag of ice, so he's been unable to come back. And those two have chewed it up on the ground. We've seen those early success of those counter plays too, Ben. Yeah. And that's made them sort of sit at home. And once they've sat at home, they've kind of been sitting targets. Dixon breaks free. It was a great fake. Steelman went wide. Oh, Larry Dixon. I'll be honest, he got me a great fake by Steelman. And he gets outside. Sean Evans came up to help out. Well, that's when you know the discipline and precision of this offense is going right when you can't keep track of the ball. And Steelman right now is on a roll offensively, the way he's pulling and pulling the ball. Black Knights in the red zone, of course, inside the 20. And today's red zone is being brought to you by Verizon. Steelman gives the Maples inside the five. And that was Baxter that got him down low around the legs. That's kind of that counter crossbuck thing again. That's that's where he, they got him earlier. They were overreacting. The counter coming back was getting them for some yards. And the important thing is when you run that counter look, you're giving the ball to a halfback that's coming through that line of scrimmage. He's smoking. With some steam indeed. Oh. 
Second and goal. Steelman gave it up. There's Dixon plowing his way in for his third touchdown in the game, and Army's got the lead back. Yeah, having the confidence defensively to be able to know your assignment, play your assignment, and still be aggressive is something that Northern Illinois hasn't been able to master. They're going to go for two here, but that was clearly just a run up the middle, power run by Army. Trying to get, trying to pad a little bit of lead. They haven't had since early in the first quarter. They're up by four right now. Trying to make it six. Steelman. That's free, man. Wide open. There it is. That's how you do it. And Patrick Laird wide open in the back of the end zone. And the Black Knights up 34-28. Well done. Army defense forcing the turnover. And they take it down. They march down the field and take a six-point lead. They cap it off with that throw to Patrick Laird for two. I know belts and hoses, not X and noses. I do O2 sensors, but not defenses. Yeah, I make a right call to keep your car in the game. Don't even need a playbook, it's all in my brain. Fuel injectors, alternators, radiators too. It's who I am, it's what I do. Never know how. Welcome to Bud Light Fantasy Football, where every bottle is a player. My Bud Light threw for four TDs. Draft players using codes on specially marked bottles of Bud Light. Mine won the game with a 60-yard field goal. Manage your team at BudLight.com slash FFL. My Bud Light fumbled at the three-yard line. My Bud Light extended my winning streak. When Bud Light is on your roster, every game is a win. My Bud Light made him cry. Bud Light Fantasy Football. Start building your team today. Members first is who we are. Our member gives a huge part of their life to defend our country. And because those are the people that we serve, we have to put them first. It is because of who we serve that putting members first becomes the, the ethos of this organization. Late stages, third quarter, great ball game here at Mikey Stadium, 34-28, Army's on top. And we want to remind you that nobody knows the game like a quarterback. Don't miss Phil Simms, Steve Berline, and Rich Gannon as they join host Adam Shine on NFL Monday QB. Tune in Monday at 6.30 Eastern, only on CBS Sports Network. A lot of excitement here in this third quarter, and Larry Dixon to use a hockey term with a hat trick of touchdowns. He's got three here today. The well, last four possessions for this Army offense have been very impressive touchdown drives. They have been almost perfect in execution. And for the Northern Illinois defense now, the, the shoes on the foot that was over here yes. on the Army side, they've got to get on their grease board. They have to figure out what they have to do to take away this Army, or at least hesitate this Army offensive running game. That was Perez Ashford, one of the return men. Lewis, good job in the last few kickoffs by Osteen, getting those deep into the end zone and negating the dangerous return ability of Tommy Lee Lewis. Jordan Lynch in the Northern Illinois offense on the field when we come back. All right, everybody, get your heads up. Now, when I was in the military, I learned that if you stand together, you can stand up to anything. No matter where I was deployed, I always knew that somebody had my back. You boys are your own band of brothers. You have each other, just like I had Navy Federal Credit Union 24-7 live customer support. Let's go! Let's go! Four million members, four million stories. Navy Federal Credit Union. Where can a marketing administrator be a watercraft engineer? Where can a doctor serve his community while also treating patients around the world? 
Where can a student stay in school while expanding his education beyond the classroom? In the U.S. Army Reserve, you'll find the strength to develop new skills and gain an edge to get ahead. There's strong, and then there's Army strong. Visit GoArmy.com slash reserve. The Ohio State University. The University of Texas Southern University. California, Berkeley. Old Dominion Ooh. University. Harvard oh. University. The University of Virginia. Virginia Texas A&M. Norfolk State University. Virginia University. Arizona State. Pennsylvania State University. Hey, hey, hey. The few, the proud, <laughs> the Marines. Brett Stober in New York, Virginia Tech and Pitt. Tino Sinceri, back foot wheel route. Ray Graham, his third touchdown of the day, but Logan Thomas and Virginia Tech, they respond right away. 85 yards from Marcus Davis. Thomas, 10 of 19 for 222, but still Tech down 28-17, guys. Thanks a lot, Brett, we appreciate it. And a great tilt here we've got. Home opener for the Black Knights, our first of Seven games here on CBS Sports Network throughout the course of Army season. And so far, Randy, with 2.23 to go in this third, it's been a tale of two halves. Yeah, I mean, the last possession, Army forced an alleged fumble. And have, already, and have already forced one punt, the first punt of the game for Northern Illinois coming in the third quarter. Well said. Clearly looked like a touchdown. They said no. Hand off, and that's Leighton Settle. That's only his second carry in this game. Mike Eugenie wrapping him up and dropping him there. And first half, you see on the top of your screen there, five possessions, which included Northern Illinois taking a knee. And then in the second half, two possessions and a goose egg thus far in terms of points. Lynch up high is Mar Martel Moore, and he's gang tackled, but looks like he'll have the first down. As Watts was there, Bacon was in the neighborhood as well. Yeah, ex except for a couple of early brain cramps, this, this Army defense has done a very nice job of the first tackler on the spot being very effective in making the tackle or at least grabbing a hold and holding on for help. Lynch stepping up and Bacon got to him there. Combs helped out as well. With a minute and a half remaining in the third quarter, we want to remind you Armed Forces football is proudly supported by Golden Corral. Second and eight. Lynch with the keys to the Northern Illinois offense this season. Picked up two on that last carry. Second and eight. Tough throw, floats it up, intercepted! Forces another third quarter turnover. That is huge for Northern Illinois, specifically Northern Illinois' defense. This defense has been on the field the entire game so far. The offense for Northern Illinois has had so many big plays, they've been on just sparingly. And Lynch here running left proves how difficult it is to throw while you're running left for a right handed quarterback across your body. He floats that one up. He had no business letting that one go, and the Army defense makes him pay. The ball's yanked loose, but comes out of bounds. Tyler Dixon out of Mansfield, Ohio. Made his first career start last season against this Northern Illinois team at eight tackles, so he's whatever's in the water on game day against Northern Illinois, he's enjoying it. Here is Frazier gets a carry, spins free, and then Clark finished him off just shy of the 45. Hey, if you're interested at all, you know, what's it mean if Army doesn't turn over the ball? Well, simply put, if, if Rich Ellerson's team doesn't turn over the ball, or heck, any Army team doesn't turn over the ball, they flat win if they don't do that, and they haven't done it so far today. They put it on the ground one time, and they recovered it. Yep. See some numbers for the Black Knights. Yeah, last week would be the antithesis of that theory. Yes. Steelman. Spinning and Ward got him, wrapped him up. Good pressure by Durant. Just to follow up on your point, Randy, in the last 
10 games, they're one and nine with eight straight losses when they have at least three turnovers. In that same span, they're five and two with no turnovers. And that is the, looks like will be the final play of this third quarter. As time winds down, time to get four fingers in the air and get ready for quarter number four. There it is. Certainly these two teams are awake and alive and ready to roll. inch alloy wheels, eight speaker pioneer audio system with Bluetooth and HD radio technology, a 2012 IIHS top safety pick, plus the JD Power and Associates Award for most dependable compact sporting car. The TC is loaded with premium features from the inside out. The 2013 Scion TC, starting at 19480. Touchdown, we saw a bunch of teams running up the score. Straight at you, beat you in the mouth for 60 minutes. Football every day! Coaching is putting players in position to be successful. Is it a 20 minute shorter wash cycle? Or a 20 minute longer lap cycle? Is it 20% less time in here? Or 20% more time out here? Is it 20% more storage capacity? Or 20% more fun capacity? LG's innovative line of appliances let you fast forward to moments that matter. So, is it an appliance or something better? What's the best way to transform your next gathering or event? T-shirts! That's right, T-shirts. Custom-made T-shirts that you design online with Custom Ink. With Custom Ink T-shirts, your group becomes a team. Thanks, Custom Ink! And designing your own shirts is easy with Custom Ink's online design lab. Just choose a style, then pick out a color or change a color. Custom Ink has hundreds of different fonts in the web's best collection of high-quality artwork. You can even upload your own artwork, and we'll personally take it from concept to custom shirts that look great. Thanks, Custom Ink! At Custom Ink, we've helped create over 30 million custom T-shirts. So visit TryCustomInc.com today and start your own free T-shirt design. Order one shirt or thousands. On-time delivery is guaranteed, and we'll even ship your order absolutely free. So go to TryCustomInc.com and be the hero at your next gathering or event with Custom Inc. Let's compare technology on DISH and DirecTV. DirecTV has seven Emmy Awards for technical achievement, and DISH won. And now DirecTV offers a high-definition DVR with TiVo, and DISH doesn't. Only DirecTV combines TiVo's unique interface and integrated search with our award-winning interactive features. Number one in technology. Another reason 30 million people agree. Don't just watch TV, DirecTV. Welcome back. Start of the fourth quarter here at Mikey Stadium with Randy Cross up in the booth. My name is Ben Holden. Our Cadet sideline reporter is Brad Strimmel. All of our great crew, we appreciate their efforts. Trent Steelman taking a look. And Army, two backs over 100. Steelman's three feet away from getting to 100. Fakes it to Crusetti, and he pitched it. Maples dropped it, but oh, still he didn't up. get it back. It's still loose, and then it went out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. Two Northern Illinois players look to get their hands on it, but couldn't reel it in, Randy. Here's the second time this Army offense has put the ball on the ground, and Steelman put that ball right in Maples' hands. Maples just could not hold on to it, and... To his credit, though, he kept fighting and twisting and turning and found a way to get that thing, knock that thing out of bounds. Chris Bolt 
One of a couple Army football players that are high ranking here among the cadets on the post at West Point here. The regimental commander is the punter Bolt. Ashford's back deep at his 22. Comes up, he's got room, far side. Bacon trying to get him, he slipped away, slowed up, and then he's dropped, wrapped up, and getting to him there was Bobby Coe to take him down. But Northern Illinois is gonna have great field position right at the midfield stripe. 30 seconds into the fourth quarter, Huskies down to Army, six. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Now you'll know when to stop. The all-new Nissan Altima with Easy Fill Tire Alert. It's our most innovative Altima ever. Nissan, innovation that excites. Putting members first is who we are. Our member gives a huge part of their life to defend our country. And because those are the people that we serve, we have to put them first. It is because of who we serve that putting members first becomes the, the ethos of this organization. A new way to plan. A new way to work. Just shoot for the stars if it feels right. A new way to create. If you feel like Note, the new way. Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. At the beginning of this game, we told you how we saw this matchup. For Northern Illinois, skilled players, boy, that's been a big thing. The young O-line, that has not been a factor. That's a great job by Northern Illinois. Tackling here by Army. They are 16 of 22 in first tackle tries, and that's because they started off so poorly. And the strength of this scheme, you're just now seeing the strength of the scheme in this first, in this second half, the way they've been executing and stopping Northern Illinois. Very good. First and 10 from the 50 for Jordan Lynch and company. He wants to go deep. He's got Ashford down there and just missed him near the 15-yard line. It was Jackson on the coverage. So Jordan Lynch with a strong arm. Not afraid to no, he'll chuck keep, it. He'll keep taking shots. Sorry, Ben, but no you problem. Know, Jackson's a field corner and see where the ball's over here on the on the left hash mark. Yes, sir See all this field between the lot the ball and us That's all the field that Jackson at the bottom of your screen has to cover It's a lot of real estate and that one looked like they were going to Lewis instead It's Martell Moore who gets down near the 30. Do you see Jackson react? Yes. Jackson immediately attacked inside in fact he attacked right at um, right at I think it was number three, Akeem Daniels was in, the, in there in the slot. And he just attacks inside at the slot receiver and runs right by Ashford. So the Huskies showing thus far, of course, until now, that they want to throw the football and clogged up in the middle. And Holt Zalaritis in there to help out on the tackle. It was the same pattern in that first half, the big plays, the outside plays that opened up the running game. For Lynch, so much it set up that 88 yard touchdown run he had in the first quarter. Thing of beauty. Early stages, fourth quarter here at Mikey Stadium. Army on top 34 28. And a dangerous throw there, and Lewis had to have heard the footsteps there. Bacon was on the coverage. You look at this from the back side and look what you're throwing into and through. You've got three defenders right there. That's a smack and waiting to happen. But regardless, your quarterback puts that ball in your hands. You've got to catch that. Four wide. Lynch got a man. Martell Moore's got it. And he walks into the end zone. Touchdown on third down for Northern Illinois. And Lynch is showing some serious touch of this game. Well, you get the matchup you want, because on one side of the field, 
you've got the, the, the field corner, the field side. On the other side of the field, you're looking at a matchup that you really like because you got your your defensive back, Tyler Dixon, and he's going against your real big play wide receiver, and he couldn't keep up. Tie game, 34 apiece. Not anymore, it's 35-34, and Martell Moore in back-to-back -back weeks with 31-yard touchdown receptions. Quite a game here in Army's home opener. Northern Illinois bringing their A game here on this drive, 35-34. With or without a pre-existing medical condition, call the Health Insurance Helpline for immediate assistance and get the relief you deserve. The Health Insurance Helpline has been established to provide affordable health insurance for all uninsured Americans with or without pre-existing conditions. And as a special bonus for calling today, we'll send you a no-obligation, no-cost prescription savings card which can save you up to 50% off your prescriptions. Call the Health Insurance Helpline now. Time now for our View of the Core, brought to you by MCOR. And 4,600 cadets here on post. They're all here. They've got to be at every game, or they get, get a little extra work. I can't really hear them. Well, you know, they start. They had quite a day today. I mean, Saturdays yes. aren't just, just game day. No, for the core of cadets here at West Point. They're not. They're not tailgating or anything. I mean, they got things to do. Room inspections, haircut inspections. Yeah, just you know, minor details. 13.25 to go in this ball game, and Tyler Weedle has it teed up at the 35. Terrific game number one here. Hope you're enjoying it here on CBS Sports Network. For Army here at home, we'll be here for all seven of their home games, and that one will come out to the 25-yard line for Trent Steele in the offense. We'll see what they do when we come back after this. It was 3,600 o'clock and I was trapped. No way out. My usual transport was nowhere to be found. I knew then and there that I needed wheels ASAP. That's Alpha, Sierra, Alpha, Pickle. Uh -uh. Sis here's in the military, so I can join Navy Federal too. He's getting a great rate. So now he can drive himself to laser tag. It's a real sport. No, it's not. Four million members, four million stories. Navy Federal Credit Union. There are a few who move toward the sounds of chaos. Forged in the crucible of training, they are the first to move toward the sounds of tyranny, injustice, and despair. They are the few, the proud, the Marines. Introducing Tropical Island Grill only at Golden Corral. This is island cooking at its best. It's breaded Cozumel Island shrimp, Fiji lemon pepper tilapia, and much more. It's all part of our endless dinner buffet, still for one low price, and it's only at Golden Corral. Wow, he just sent me a text meant for another girl. No way. Serious? Oh, there he is. Reject. Voice controlled calling on the Galaxy S3. So I guess I'm free this evening. Available at Verizon. First time these two teams met back in 1992. It was right here at Mikey Stadium, November the 14th. Northern Illinois struck first on a two yard touchdown run there by Scott Crabtree, but Army, some things never change, Randy Cross. They pile up. 350 yards and that win did the Black Knights and they won 21-7. So that was 20 years ago, nearly 20 years ago. Well, even 20 years ago, things as mundane as extra points were just as important and that's really the difference right now yep. is the missed extra point early by Army. 35-34 is Army. Starts this drive, and here's a look back at it. The freshman Grochowski, and just kind of chunked it, I guess, to use a golf term. Yeah, good job by the truck. So a run up the, well, off the right side a little bit, behind the guard there, out to the 30. They pick up five, and 
quite a day for Larry Dixon and Raymond Maples on the ground. Larry with three touchdowns. Yeah, this, this offense right now north of 435 yards rushing in this game so far. But I'll tell you, the story so far has been the running of Lynch and the throwing of Lynch for Northern Illinois. 12 and 19 for 282, three touchdowns. Something special. Now Steelman, not much there and had to dive back. Picked up about a half a yard is Boomer Mays. Great football name, 45, made the stop there, the linebacker. So a third and four coming up. Army nine for 14 on those third down conversions. Saw there and had some critical ones at the end of the second quarter, driving for that big touchdown. They yeah. did. Here's another one, and they're not. You know, they might give them the spot. It's going to be. Right near the 35, and based on what I'm well, seeing, if they put the middle of the ball where that foot is, yeah. it's going to be a first down. If the nose of the ball is where the foot is, it's close. It's it's worth taking a measure, that's for sure. Ooh. Inches. Now look, at this is how Northern Illinois react. Look at the defensive tackles; they're now pinched down. Basically over the guards, and they're going to come. They're going to come right after Steelman as soon as this ball is snapped. Steelman, he's got it, and the Black Knights are now three of four on fourth down. This is just a beautiful job inside. Look at Powis see, at the center position. He got a, a real face full of bass there, trying to work at that mid linebacker spot. So from the 36 yard line, fresh set of downs. Coming through on that right side. Slot back position was Maples. Sean Progar has been a. Frequent name called here as we expected here for this Northern Illinois team made the stop. And these are the kind of drives you've seen this half that make this triple option so effective against almost any offense when it's running right because they cut down on your number of your possessions and they force you to be efficient. They put all the pressure on the other six, offense six. to execute. Second down and six and Dixon. Jimmy Ward came in to finally take him down. He was greeted by a couple of defenders down there, but it's going to bring up another critical third down here as we move in on 10 minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Yeah, it's a nice job by Jimmy Ward and company as as Dixon wanted to kind of bounce it out after he got that ball, but Ward playing that pseudo linebacker right at the line of scrimmage was there to blunt that idea. Third and four upcoming. There's Ward up top. He's playing that field outside linebacker instead of safety. And they toss it, Maples, and he doesn't get it. Tyrone Clark, their leader, their linebacker, their emotional, their vocal vocal leader, made the stop there. They don't go to the field. They go to the boundary, and, man, is Northern Illinois ready. That's a really a nice job defensively just being so prepared and ready to go and Tyrone Clark and company denying only 10 yards back on this on this punt very short setup Chris Bolt spirals this one downfield and there's Ashford and he makes the fair catch at the 23 yard line so with 908 remaining Jordan Lynch in the Northern Illinois offense will come back on after a 36 yard punt here at Mikey Stadium. Your hands can do so many, many things. Your hands can brush your teeth or comb your hair, throw a ball into the air, wave hello or wave goodbye, even make a pizza pie. Sometimes your hands could use a hand. With Touch 2O technology, you can turn your faucet on and off with just a touch. Another way Delta is more than just a faucet. So many things your hands can do. See what Delta can do. 
away. It's the crackle of the campfire. It can be a million years old or a few weeks young. Away beckons from Orion's belt. Away is a place that's closer than you think. Find your away. For a dealer in the RV that's right for you, visit GoRVing.com. The game was awesome last night. We got crushed, dude. Awesome game. Nice. Saints are getting good, huh? Shotgun formation. Yes! Zone Blitz, they disguise it so well. With NFL Mobile from Verizon, no one will know the game better than you. Best nice. defense in the league. Well, almost no one. I will eat you. Watch live games Thursday, Sunday, and Monday nights. Plus, get NFL Red Zone and NFL Network coverage 24-7 on NFL Mobile. And experience football on Verizon 4G LTE. Football means so much here at West Point to the core of Cadets. And Brad Strimmel in there, in the mix. Brad. Job. I know you can't hear me, but he's done a terrific job here in our debut edition and another view from the Corps of Cadets or the view of the Corps of Cadets. A little bit of both. Brad, certainly an up and down game. Uh, how are you and the other uh, cadets holding up here, buddy? Oh, barely surviving. Everyone's fired up. We haven't had a game this exciting in a long time. Uh, just <laughs> everyone's so excited. Can't wait to see how this game turns out. You're going to be the Woo! most popular guy on post after people watch the game back. I'll tell you that, buddy. Great job. It's all about the friends you make here. It is Bob's loose. He's got it. They've got it at the 15 yard line. They got it at the 15. Mike Eugenie there to scoop it up. 901 left in the fourth quarter. It's a case of nose to nose. Whoever blinks first is going to have a problem. Turnover number three for Northern Illinois. No turnovers for Army. R right at that junction point, Lynch has that problem. Saw Combs coming, had to pull it out. Ball comes loose, coming off the hip, hip of his running back. That's the way that Rich Ellerson and his guys want to see that turnover number. Three for the Black Knights. None for Northern Illinois to this point in the game. Army, timeout. Timeout. Army, their first timeout of the half. Two left for them here in this fourth quarter that appears to be coming right down to the wire. 35-34, Northern Illinois. Army in the red zone, and we come back. We're on the road with the general, talking to people about their auto insurance. Now, Richie, you don't have auto insurance coverage right now. Why is that? Well, I have too many tickets on my driving record, and all the quotes I get are just way too expensive. Well, you need to get a fast online quote right now from the general. Rates are low, and you can get insured for as little as $39 a month. And you'll get an instant proof of insurance. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the general and save some time! Members first is who we are. Our member gives a huge part of their life to defend our country. And because those are the people that we serve, we have to put them first. It is because of who we serve that putting members first becomes the, the ethos of this organization. A new way to plan. A new way to work. Just shoot for the stars if it feels right. A new way to create. If you feel like Note, the new way. Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. College football on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Navy Federal Credit Union. 
Open to the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, the DOD, and their families. By the U.S. Army, they're strong. Then there's Army Strong. Learn more about the strength behind the uniform at GoArmy.com. And by 5-Hour Energy, the no-wait, no-hassle way to a great morning. One of the many great sights here at West Point, General Patton. Picturesque U.S. Military Academy. And primetime opportunity here, Randy, for Trent Steelman in the offense. He bobbled that, keeps it, and runs it for the touchdown! Army, one play! And they're back in front! Yeah, Powell is his center. Doesn't give him the ball on time. Looked like everybody else was moving. But he gets that ball and throws off the defense. They tended to just sort of sit up and go, hey, wait. And as soon as they went, hey, wait. Steelman said, see you later, bye, for a 15-yard touchdown. 24th carry of the game. 106 and two on the ground. They're going to go for two here, being up by five. Steelman gives way. Dixon doesn't get it. Great job by Northern Illinois on the right side of their defense. Baxter and company clogging the hole, and it's a five-point lead for Army. The area to watch, watch right through here as Steelman snaps this ball, but watch the movement. It almost looks like everybody else was off the ball before the ball ever moved. I'll be honest, Frank Allen, especially if you check out the left guard, Allen, he is gone in a flash. He gets up on the safety. He blocked, basically blocked the safety into the official. Both of them ended up in the end zone. Trent Steelman, the senior, started all four years, leading his team back in front. And let's go. Yeah. Now, what's we'll the difference between scoring a touchdown and doing that I little know. motion across your chest? I understand. Here we go again. The ball and the junction point comes off the hip of the running back as Lynch is ha handing him the ball. And that's because Steelman was there to force the pull. Look at the quarterbacks. That's Trent Steelman talking to the booth on the left. And then Jordan Lynch, the Husky quarterback, who has had a very good day throwing the football, running it. He's got an 88-yard touchdown run in this game, and you've still got 8.55 to go in it. But it's been the, the, the two, you know, plus territory turnovers they've had. Yeah. You know, it was that interception, and it was that fumble just now. They've got evaporated quickly across the 25, out to about the 28. So that's where... Lynch and company will go to work after Justin Allen made the tackle on the special teams coverage. So Lynch and the offense huddle around. See what they come out and do. Are they going to put it up in the air? You would, I would think that, but. Oh, that's, that's what they've been doing. I mean, the, the key to their run game was really Lynch so far. Yep. He in a reverse by Lewis. Today's first down line is being brought to you by Navy Federal Credit Union. Empty backfield, four wide receivers. This is Martell Moore, and Bacon came in and finished him off. Number six for Army. Remember at times that fine line between being too aggressive and maybe a penalty, that was... Awfully close, that little brush across the face mask. Lucky for Army, they didn't grab as they were brushing. On second down, they go deep, trying to hit the home run here to Lewis, Tommy Lee Lewis, but well overthrown by Jordan Lynch. It's, it's, it's tough timing for Lynch as a quarterback, I have to imagine, because he's getting those passes off so quickly, and he puts up, just lays those balls out there. They get another first down. I'd, I'd give a shot to the Lewis on a reverse again. Yeah. Thought they might do it there. This is Akeem Daniels. Bacon there to make the stop, and they're going to come up short. 
They're going to come up short on that third down run. And Jeffrey Bacon showing up on a couple of different occasions here in this second half. In the middle of that Army defense. Did they defense. call timeout before the snap on the uh, Northern Illinois sideline? Before the snap, Army called their second time out of the half. You asked. Eight yeah. minutes, 13 yeah. seconds. Yep. On the timeout, game just wrong team. Army yeah. has one timeout left. Just over eight minutes remaining in this ball game, and what a game it's been. Army scored first, and it's been back and forth. They're up now 40 to 35 with 813 remaining in the game. Making it to the NFL is not the same as making it in the NFL. Follow Andrew Luck, RG3, and a class of top rookies in the new series. Everything to prove at NFL.com slash ETP. Good debut last week for uh, the Heisman Trophy winner, huh? Yeah, he's a, he's a truly special individual. And he's a good football player, too. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Quite an athlete. Yeah, he's, he's something. Raised in, a, raised in a military family. He will yes sir and no sir you to death. I think the only thing about RG3 that people should have a problem with on occasion are his choice of socks. <laughs> I, I agree with you on that. Third and four coming up. Settle. And he breaks through there and gets the first down. Leighton settle out to the 44-yard line. Bacon made the tackle, and that'll make his dad, John, now coaching the running backs in Carolina in the NFL happy. Yeah, nothing too complicated. A little bit of a, a jump delay draw almost. But the bottom line on that is he got really nice blocking up front from that young offensive line, getting great surface on the Army defenders. Now inside, eight to go in the ball game. A little bit of a delay, and Akeem Daniels got it. He'll pick up close to, well, he'll pick up six yards. And flying in to make the stop was Brandon Fusilier Jeffrey. Speaking of guys with former NFL players as their fathers, he's one, and Haywood Jeffries is father. If you're Dave Doran, the, the uh, head coach of this team, why not flip the script on the Army and grind one out here? Pass is caught, and they get the first down on the far side of the field. That was Perez Ashford, the Shaker Heights, Ohio native, in there making the catch in traffic. There you go. That's how we got to this 40-35 point. I mentioned the flip the script, but yeah. possess, keep the clock running, put the emphasis on the Army offense when they get the ball back. Lynch floating it out there, and it's caught by Martell Moore. That is a heck of an adjustment by Martell Moore in double coverage. And there is a flag. It's on the near side of the field down below us. Yeah, it's on the field side where Jackson and company were lined up. I, I tell you what, between Moore and Ashford, they have got the most amazing timing and ability to pick up those floaters being dropped in over the shoulder. I think it's just wonderful to watch. Personal foul on the offense, number 85. Wow. That's a 15-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. Replay first down. Wow. Big break for Army. And that's Angelo Sebastiano guilty of that foul, that penalty. Costly and completely away from the ball as they were lined up on that left hash mark. It was all the way back down by the numbers. A little conflict there on the outside with uh, Mr. Jackson at the field at the bound, at the field corner position. Lynch fires caught near midfield and a nice job on the coverage there by Alex Meyer. Jamison Wells, one of a handful of receivers they can use. Gain of 10, Randy. There we are in the slot coming out towards you. Very simple little route. Sit there, feel the coverage. The ball will come away from the defender when it's delivered. Perfectly done. Second and 15, Lynch calling his own number. Inside of Army territory down to the 
Just shy of the 47 yard line. Bacon, another tackle for him. Well, Northern Illinois better have a, a sincere sense of urgency on this third and 12 because you may seriously not see the ball again at 6 15, six minutes to go if you give up the ball here on third down. Six for seven on third down. They float it to Moore again. Did he get this one? And they're saying it's good. Martell Moore. And if they listened to you, Randy, as they made a heck of a throw and a great catch for the first down. Well, it doesn't get any better, the, the touch and the placement. These are not ropes that Lynch is throwing, but he's throwing them just in bounds. Moore gets it and dots it with that right foot. They're going to want to review this and see this as many times as they can. Ooh. Is he in bounds? I see green. I do too. I'm That's with you. And he's in. Yep. You know, I think what might have led to a replay here. Timeout was called by Army, challenging the play that the receiver came down in bounds. There you go. And when you see where his foot came down, maybe that's where kind of the argument's going to come in, in interpretation, because his foot came down right on the yard marker. I mean, exactly at that yard marker. So it looked like white. But watch his right leg. He catches it, he comes down right there. Ooh. Now from this angle, it's hard to say, it's kind of inconclusive, but from the back angle we showed earlier on that, that end zone angle, when his foot comes down on the far side of it, it seemed you could see field. Yes. See this right in here? Yep. That foot is down. Now, goodness knows, that looks like green right in there that would make it a catch. But then again, I th thought that one ball was over the goal line, right, too. Right. So what do I know? Well, if it stands, it would be a big-time conversion on third down. It would be a gain of 28. And Martel Moore having a day. We're going to get the word from our referee here. Just like an outfielder, though, finding that ball in the air, it is incredible. Prior to the timeout called on the field, replay buzzed down to the field to review the play. Army will not be charged a timeout. However, after further review, the ruling on the field stands. A completed catch, first down. So Martell Moore. Was that, was that an official's way of saying, I've got good news for y'all? And I've got bad news for y'all. Yeah, yeah, you can say that. <laughs> Absolutely. 28 yards on that uh, terrific catch to get that foot in. So they do respond and pick up that third and long, and now they're inside the red zone. From the 19, inside of six to go in the ballgame. Leighton settle. A little delay down to about the 16-yard line. Yeah, the, other, settle. the other thing to remember there is as we were going away, they had mentioned that Army had challenged. Correct. And called a time, or timeout and a challenge. So obviously the buzz down yep. meant not only did they get the timeout yet back, there is no challenge. Negated all that, exactly. Army up by five. Nine plays so far on the drive. Make it ten. Settle. Look like the ball came out. Definitely came out, but it wasn't. I think Northern down. Illinois has it. The runner was ruled down. Third down. Army faithful, of course, not liking that. Reg regardless, it looked like Andrew Ness, the young center, came down on that ball. 55. Third and six. Lynch fires. Wells made the catch right near the stake. And it looks like he's got it. He's got another first down on this critical drive for Northern Illinois. Alex Meyer made the stop. Yeah, I think the, the excellent effort on this play is not so much the pass as it is what Meyer was doing once he saw where he needed to get. That was a, that was a great stretch. From the eight, first and goal. Had a man open. Instead, they throw to the near side. A great play once again 
That is Alex Meyer getting a hand on it. Zach Watts a little slow to get up for Army. Northern Illinois with 499 yards of offense and the training staff out to tend to him. We'll see if we can, well, you see him off to the left. They're almost in the middle of your top of your screen there. It's physically impossible, it would appear, to stretch out any further. <laughs> he stretched out yes. to knock down that ball. So they continue to tend to Watts and Army's defense will huddle up the young man out of Pittsburgh and see if they can get him up and off the field. If you remember earlier in this week, as shocking as the loss to San Diego State was for everyone here at Army, you heard the word expectations. Mm -hmm. We opened this game up at the very beginning. Yep. We talked about expectations. And seeing this performance by the Army football team against what I think is a very good Northern Illinois football team. Agreed. This is the kind of football that Navy, I mean, Army expected to play last week. Right. To go to San Diego, but, you know, in this situation, inside the 10-yard line, you're losing Watts, one of your, one of your real leaders. You have to come off the field. A quick linebacker. He's a starter in a big part. Huskies four wide to the near side of the field. Instead, they're going to throw it up and a touchdown. Martell Moore, what a day he's had. Second touchdown grab of the day for Martell Moore out of San Antonio, Texas, and it's 41-40 Northern Illinois. And again, they go over to Dixon over on that side, on the, on the boundary side, on the short side of the field, getting that single coverage over there, going against Moore. Throw it basically away. It's not back shoulder as much as it's a short throw that the receiver was able to adjust to. Great adjustment by Moore. So 429 remaining in the game. Two point conversion. Yep, they go for two and now a timeout taken by the Huskies. They're gonna take the timeout. timeout. Northern Illinois, their first timeout of the half. 30 second timeout. Make sure they're 100% on the same page. So a back and forth game now has Northern Illinois back up by a single point. And Martell Moore, an eight yard catch, his second of the day. Seven grabs for 134 yards in the ball game. Jordan Lynch doing the job, and no surprise to Dave Doran. He told us earlier in the week, he said, hey, this guy's as competitive as they get. This is the guy that Jordan Lynch replaced. Pretty good resume. But Lynch, Lynch has been able to do it, I think, because of the threat we saw a lot of in the first half with the running ability and just this kind of un uncanny knack. And, and sure, they're not ropes and it's not an NFL or, you know, Big 12 kind of bullets all over the field. Yep. It's hard to place a ball. You know, I could give you, I could take a, a bag full of balls and say, okay, I want you from 25 yards you see that rain barrel right there? I want you to drop the ball right in that rain barrel. Not many people would hit hit the barrel, much less hit the top of the barrel every time. No, he has made some, just some beautiful throws in this contest. Here we go, the try for two. Lynch going to the air again. Martel Moore adjusting. Nice job over there on the coverage. That was a beautiful job by Tyler Dixon. Knocking it away from a... Young man with two touchdown grabs and Dixon big play out of him to keep it a one-point game Yeah, it was kind of the if, if one's good two is better went back for the exact same play and it didn't work But boy Martel Moore has had a uh, a game for the scrapbook. Yes Seven grabs 134 yards There's the eight-yard touchdown his second we just saw and that's the difference in this game right now. Seven for 134. And, and for everything that Northern Illinois has done, especially in this half through the air, Army has done equally impressive numbers on the ground. I mean, Thanks. Army's got oh. three runners over 100 yards rushing. 
you know, Maples has been so impressive. Steelman's been impressive. I mean, it's it's been crazy the way they've been able to pound this football. In fact, it's the first time that an Army team has had three 100-yard rushers since October 12th of 96 when they took on uh, Rutgers in that game. Let this go through the end zone. They'll have first and 10 from the 25-yard line with 4.29 remaining in the ball game. Only needing a field goal to win it. They can take it down and chew up the time. You can't count this northern team out no matter what. It's worth mentioning four and a half minutes here, so could very well be just one possession. In fact, ideally for, for Army, that's what it is. It's one possession. But you have to mention the, the difference in the game is the missed Point PAT. After. And it is a freshman kicker in a freshman group that uh, makes up that, that threesome trying to make that field potential field goal happen. So from the 25, Dixon greeted immediately by Nabal Jefferson, big 99 in the middle. So Army trying to take it back the other way and they've got to go an awful long way. That's a lot of real estate. But this offense is, as Randy said earlier about their team effort, this is more what they expected with a really a veteran group, an experience, not so much a veteran group, but an experienced group in their backfield coming back and with a four-year starter leading it calling the signal Steelman wants to throw now in trouble now fires and knocked away penalty flag it came in there and they we're throwing there to Patrick Laird the flag though goes against Rashawn Melvin yeah, the official on the sideline there had a pretty good picture of was Melvin crawling on the back Number 11 as defense. that ball was thrown That's spot foul automatic first down see it's a nice adjust adjustment down the field, you know, find that ball by Patrick Laird because he really, really wasn't in that pattern. It was a two receiver pattern at the bottom of the screen, both running First deep crosses. At the 40. From the 40, first guy is Dixon, fullback. He doesn't get much, it's a little over two. Clock continues to move, of course, 340 and counting. Jefferson again made the stop. In this circumstance, you've got to think minimum this Army football team has to get to their own 25-yard line, make it a 42-yard field goal. That's minimum, 25. Picked up two to make it a second and eight upcoming. So that's 33 yards from right here. And they have three minutes and 15 seconds to do it. Steelman keeps it. This will help. He's got the first down. Inside of Northern Illinois Territory, Jimmy Ward, Demetrius Stone also helping out on the stop. Nice job. They take away the fullback, and then Dixon doesn't get the ball, but then he turns into a blocker, and he gets that little nick on the inside leg of the defender, which opens it up. A couple of big blocks he's made in this game. Made one on that Maples run in the third quarter. This time, Larry gets the rock. Alan Baxter made the stop with 240 and counting. Remaining in the game. Normal offense would have a little bit of a sense of urgency, a little bit of move to it. Flag comes in from the referee back behind the play. Is that the play clock or shift? Shift again. Third time in the ball game. Illegal shift on the offense. Two off of offensive backs moving at the snap. Second down. Well, in that situation for Rich Ellerson's football team, that, that's almost like a turnover. Yeah. You know, it's obviously there's no reason to get too crazy panicking if you're Army, but man, if you're Northern Illinois, you love seeing that, giving up five yards, setting up a second and 14. Clock gets running again. Clock is moving. Army, the look to the sideline on the near side. Army, five penalties for 35. Northern Illinois, four for 49. Steelman keeps, gets on to Maples. Shoves the defender down to the turf on the Army sideline. 
And takes it across midfield. Johnny Faustin, the one that got shoved down there. Yeah, right now, this Northern Illinois team is not being quite as physical as they need to be. But here on third and five is the perfect time to find a play where you can be physical against this option offense. Army nine for 16 on third down. Fake to Crusetti. Steelman spins, took a shot. They're going to be short. He got it down to the 42. Jamal Bass, the sophomore, the first to get to him. Yeah, not much of a decision here. You're, you're talking about a roughly 60-yard field goal. So this is yep. definitely going for it at fourth timeout. down in about three. Northern Illinois, their second timeout of the half. 30-second timeout. Northern Illinois taking the timeout while we've got an opportunity. We can tell you to stay tuned for a great day of college football continues next. When we're done, Conference USA showdown as Southern Miss travels to take on East Carolina. These two teams have accounted for three of the last four Conference USA championships. Then coming up at 8 Eastern, Colorado heads to Bulldog Stadium for the first time ever. Fresno State senior running back Robbie Rouse only needs 79 yards rushing to become the school's all-time rushing leader. It's all exclusively on CBS Sports Network. Football every day. Great game we've had here. Kick off the seven games we'll have for you. Right here on CBS Sports Network here at Mikey Stadium. Be back with you in two weeks. But the conclusion of this one. And all that work, all those yards on both sides, it all comes down to one play right here. Fourth and three at the 42. Minute 52 remaining in the game. Timeout situation. Both teams with one remaining. Fiftieth play of the game for Army Steelman. Can't get there. And the Huskies come up. Baxter on that left side and. Boomer Mays in there as well to come up with a huge stop on fourth down. Yeah, Baxter, Durant, and Boomer Mays as a team. The one thing you cannot do when you're running against anybody, especially a defense that's got the athletes that Northern Illinois does, you can't hesitate in decision. When you decide you're going to go, you've got to go. And there was a slight pause by Steelman, and they swarmed him. Well, it's a one-point lead for Northern Illinois, and there is always pressure here at West Point. And this time, the team that comes up to stop Army's attack, they win that battle, certainly. And they're a minute 47 away from capturing a win. Army's only got one timeout. Lynch takes what they give him. He got a yard, a little over a yard. And there'll be a stoppage and a timeout for Army. Timeout. Army, their final timeout of the half, 30-second timeout. Well, while we've got an opportunity, let's take a look now at our Napa play of the game. And, Randy, we go back to that first half. Jordan Lynch, you talked about Army tackling, and, well, he put a terrific couple of moves on, and he took it 88 yards to the house. And early on, that really was the difference maker. You know, credit to Army, they hung in with Northern Illinois even when they sprinted out to that quick early lead. But to see the Northern Illinois quarterback go that far, 88 yards, without being challenged and breaking two tackles along the way was most impressive. That's our Napa play of the game. Jordan Lynch and his big guys up front trot on. This Lynch, he's going to give a lot of defensive coordinators in the Mid-American Conference nightmares because look at what he's done here today. 342 and over 100 on the ground. This young man is really a sharp signal caller for Northern Illinois. Dangerous here. He's trying to get that first down and he does. That's just grit right there. Love it. He picks it up. That does it there. Yep. Yeah, they're just from here on. It's get into the victory formation. Protect your quarterback. Kneel down and enjoy a win for Northern Illinois, Northern Illinois in a tightly fought, well-earned win. Gain of 11 for Jordan Lynch. 
before the Black Knights finally got to him. Army cannot stop the clock. 70 seconds and counting remaining in the ball game. Northern Illinois, you see what they've done, and they're, I mean, they're a player two away from being a 3-0 team. And that game they played against Iowa was it very well. Defensively, they played about as good as they could, I think. And remember, Ben, too, we started this game off talking about they've had back-to-back 11 yeah. win seasons. They're yep. one of only 10 teams in the whole FBS that can say that. So this was a very impressive football team the last couple of years, and they got themselves one heck of a hard one a hard one win here. They did, and Mayim Sadat, Rich Ellerson looking on. 141 plays have been run to this point. This game will finish with 142 snaps with over 1,000 total yards. 1,015. And the ball game has concluded, and Northern Illinois a 41 to 40 victory in what was a very entertaining game here at West Point. Two teams gather in the middle of the field. The coaches, Dave Doran there, the Husky coach, and Rich Ellerson, the Army coach. And Northern Illinois now leads this series, albeit just three games, two games to one. And folks, don't go anywhere. We're going to give you one of the great traditions in all of. Not just in college football, but in sport. The alma mater will be played. We'll let you listen to that. As the Corps of Cadets will help out, I'm quite certain Northern Illinois will make their way down. Their players never have been here on the post of West Point to experience that and to show their respect for these cadets that will eventually become officers in the U.S. Army. Tough one for the Black Knights to lose, and oftentimes, we were just talking about Iowa, it's a play or two, and it was uh, one play here today that kept this game from being 41-41. Let you listen now to the alma mater here at West Point. Well done, 4,600 cadets. They always close it with Beat Navy. It's been a lot of fun here. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Once again, our final score, Northern Illinois 41, Army 40. For Randy Cross, Cadet Brad Strimmel, all of our hardworking CBS Sports Network crew, Ben Holden saying thanks for watching and so long from West Point. For scores, highlights, features, and more, go to cbssports.com. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. East Carolina, Southern Miss, but first to the studio with Brent and Houston Nutt. Welcome to our Inside College Football Studios. Brent Stilver alongside Houston Nutt, a triple header here on the network throughout the afternoon and into the evening. Experiencing though some technical difficulties, East Carolina in Hattiesburg to take on Southern Miss game two of our triple header. They've got a power outage at the stadium right now, so we can't get you out there. In the meantime, we will talk college football here. And a lot of the noon games wrapping up or close to wrapping up. A couple of really good ones, Houston, going down to the wire. But let's start with a game we just finished up on our network, 41-40. 
Boy, Jordan Lynch, really impressive. Chandler Hart, uh, Harnish graduated last year after having a fantastic career for the Huskies. And now Lynch comes out and throws for 342 to beat the Black Knights. Jordan Lynch was just so in control of his team. Uh, excellent job of just handling the offense. Execution was outstanding. That was a shootout. That's a shootout <laughs> because Army, you got to give them a lot of credit offensively with what they did with the option. Maples 159 on the ground. Larry Dixon went for 136. And the quarterback, Trent Steelman, 27 carries for 116. But the defense unable to hold up. 41 40 Northern Illinois knocks off Army up at West Point. One of the games of the day. The Warhawks of Louisiana Monroe, biggest win in school history last week as they came from 21 down to beat the Razorbacks of Arkansas. Now trying to go 2-0 against the SEC and late in the game. Now they were down two touchdowns to start the fourth. They got it to seven and now they throw in that touchdown right there. Colton Browning, who is thrown for 237 and three scores. Uh, he hits Colby Harper from six yards out. We are deadlocked at 28 trying to pull off their second now win over a top 25 team in school history. Unbelievable. Todd Berry's done a job and they're going to have a hard time holding on to that guy. But Colton Browning, unbelievable. What a playmaker. He uses his legs. He has escapability. He makes plays. And you saw him make a crucial, crucial pass in between a very short window. I beg your pardon there. Auburn not a top 25 team, but after beating Arkansas last week, the Warhawks now 1-23 against ranked teams and taking on an Auburn a team that's 0-2 trying to avoid their first 0-3 start coach since 1950. It's very tough, very tough. Boy, I tell you, Auburn needed this win so bad. And, well, you could just see, though, you could see early on, even in warm-ups, the confidence of the Skyhawks. These guys are running around with confidence, making plays. And long as they hung, hung in there, you knew. If they got it to the fourth quarter, this was going to be a ball game. Their first scoring drive, they set the tone. Todd Berry, the head coach, elects to go for it. Fourth and goal he from the it. one. They are showing the confidence. They punch it in. They took the 7-0 lead. Again, though, start of the fourth quarter, they were down two touchdowns. They've come all the way back, 28 apiece. And again, Colton Browning having a fantastic afternoon, the quarterback for the Warhawks. We will have highlights of the Wake Forest Florida State game as well as Cal Ohio State. That one going down to the wire in Columbus. Buckeyes trying to avoid the upset. That and more up next. undefeated now we've got 10 wait and see <laughs> every single play in that game matters all season long we have shown you tweets from numerous coaches good old-fashioned football in the ditch it has a man open touchdown love this sport and live for nights like this. Today, more than ever before, women are on the front lines of America's defense. These brave women struggle and sacrifice to help keep our country secure. They deserve to be recognized for their service as guardians of freedom. Please support the American Legion's efforts to serve the growing number of women veterans. Go to legion.org slash honor veterans to find out how you can help. such thing as a small distraction. A public service reminder from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Speak out against distracted driving at decidetodrive.org.
Back inside our inside college football studios. Again, we've got a triple header today on CBS Sports Network getting set for East Carolina and Southern Miss. There's a power outage at the stadium in Hattiesburg, so we are experiencing obviously some technical difficulties. So uh, Houston Nutt and myself, Brent Stover, will continue to uh, wrap up some of the noon games and some of the, the biggest games of the day. A lot of people talking about the Warhawks of Louisiana Monroe. Knocked off Arkansas last week. Now trying to knock down Auburn and give the Tigers an 0-3 start. Kyle Frazier picked off by Mitch Lane. It's Louisiana Monroe football ensuing drive. Coach Colton Browning, how good has he been the last couple weeks? Outstanding. Unbelievable. Great throw right here. Drops it. Only place it could be caught. And now here's what he does. He escapes, buys time, and throws it where his receivers can catch it. Colby Harper ties the game 28 apiece late in the fourth. They are headed to overtime all square. What a game. Wake Forest and number five Florida State. Wake pulled off the upset in this matchup by five last year. Not today, though, thanks to Chris mm. Thompson. Chris Thompson was a difference maker today. As you can see, his speed. Boy, he has great vision down the field. He made so many big plays to have this many yards, about 197 yards, a couple of touchdowns. You see the acceleration that he has, the vision. Unbelievable playmaker for Florida State. 80 yards on that one. He had 197 before halftime. They cruise. 52-0 is the final. Pretty impressive right there. But first, let's talk Auburn going to overtime. Big-time storylines on both sides. I'll tell you what, give Louisiana Monroe a lot of credit. Uh, they're for real. These guys are playing with Arkansas and now Auburn back-to-back. -back. They don't back down uh, in the trenches. They may not be as big as Auburn or big, big as Arkansas, but they will fight you and they make plays, and Colton Browning is the story. For all intents and purposes, really the first test for Florida State as it were, and it turned out really not to be a test today. I'll tell you what, this surprised me. I really thought Coach Grove and the Wake Forest coming off that win, off beating North Carolina, I thought they would be so ready to go. And But Florida State obviously was much more ready to go. Their defense, we've been talking about them all summer long, how good they are. And I was anxious to see they lost a defensive end. Who was going to replace that guy? Hey, somebody stepped up. Yep. Somebody stepped up, and they have tremendous speed on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, Brandon Jenkins went down and stepping up. Bjorn Werner on the other side at defensive end. All right, other games to talk about. The Pitt Panthers off to an 0-2 start, including a loss in week one to Youngstown State. Trying to knock off Virginia Tech. These two teams, when they you know, went to different conferences, Virginia Tech going to the ACC, they haven't met in more than a decade. Before that, Pitt had dominated the series. And they get a turnover there and another turnover. Logan Thomas really struggling there. Three picks. They had four total turnovers. Did the Hokies in that kind of a day. And Tino Sinceri on the other side made him pay. Fourth quarter puts it away. Mike Shanahan, his third touchdown pass of the day for Sinceri. 35-17 is the final. Pitt gets their first win, and that's tough upset loss. Frank Beamer and the 13th-ranked Hokies of Virginia Tech. You, you saw the look on Coach Beamer's face, and that look is basically when you give up that many turnovers, you turn the ball over, you're going to get beat. Uh, anybody can beat anybody on any given Saturday in a three-hour period. Yeah. I don't care what's on the paper, but when you turn the ball over like that, good things aren't going to happen. Again, to remind you here on CBS Sports Network, we're going to send you out to Hattiesburg in moments, hopefully East Carolina and Southern Miss. Southern Miss with an early 7-0 lead in that game, but they got power issues at the stadium, and uh, thanks to that, we have technical difficulties, so we'll get you out there as soon as we can. There it is, 7-0 in the first, and you see 27-10. Southern Miss leads the series all time, looking for their first win of the season. The Pirates coming in at 1-1. One Go to the Big 12, TCU, the Horn Frogs, their first Big 12 game, school history. They were left behind years ago in the Southwest Conference, joined up with the Big 12, but now they're in there, and they're a top 25 team, ranked 16th coming in. Casey Paul Hall, Brandon Carter for the score, and the Frogs up 7-3. to three. Then Paul Hall connects with Carter again, the great catch, takes it in for the touchdown. They're up 20-6. to six. And uh, uh, there you go. TCU uh, has won that game in Lawrence. So a good road win. Maybe not the prettiest. They only scored 20 for that high-flying offense, but good one to get under your belt. And for KU, the struggles continue. It does. It does. It looks like KU had a lot of fight, though, especially the first half. But there's nothing like the dose of medicine of winning, a celebrated locker room, and they're hard to come by. Wins are precious. But that was a good road win for Gary Patterson. TCU 
ranked number 16 now 2 and 0 after a two touchdown victory on the Jayhawks. Arkansas State and Nebraska. Now the Huskers black shirt D gave up 653 yards of total offense and a loss to UCLA last week. How would they bounce back? Well, coach pretty good thanks to Taylor Martinez. <laughs> Absolutely. Taylor Martinez right here looks really good on the play action. Hits the wheel route down the boundary. Then comes back and throws a beautiful beautiful fade route. Perfect touchdown. He gets better, it seems like each week this guy progresses and gets better. So Nebraska goes on to win 42-13 the final. Kenny Bell, a couple of touchdown catches. I want to mention Bo Pelini, the head coach, had his pulse checked by the medical staff right around halftime, and he wouldn't return. They took him away, mm -hmm. went to the hospital, so we will continue to monitor that situation, hopefully uh, in good health. Bo Pelini, by the time the day was done, certainly it's going to help his heart rate that his team came back with a win 42 to 13 was the final. Another game we want to talk about is Ohio State taking on the Cal Bears. Get to that one in a moment. First off Miami and Bethune Cookman and uh, Miami didn't have a whole lot of trouble in this one at home. Not a great crowd. You talked about kind of a challenging environment to play out there but they got the 95 yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Duke Johnson, this guy has tremendous speed, and he, boy, he really sets everything up on the kickoff return. Here he goes again. Good job making a quick cut. Good job blocking down the field. And this, this is two touchdowns and put it away. You needed to put this thing away because, again, a game like this, not very many people in the stands, gets to the fourth quarter. Order, anything can happen. 38-10, Duke Johnson, electrifying freshman. They really like down in South Florida. And again, important for them to win. Now 2-1, bouncing back from that loss at Kansas State last week. Told you about Ohio State. Great finish and a fantastic second half at the Horseshoe against Cal. We'll have highlights of that one, plus a preview of Alabama-Arkansas when we come back on Inside College Football. Is it a 20 minute shorter wash cycle? Or a 20 minute longer lap cycle? Is it 20% less time in here? Or 20% more time out here? Is it 20% more storage capacity? Or 20% more fun capacity? LG's innovative line of appliances let you fast forward to moments that matter. So, is it an appliance or something better? to plan. A new way to work. A new way to create. Note, the new way. Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. Johnny Bones Jones! He might be the greatest that we've ever seen in the UFC. A former UFC heavyweight, a light heavyweight champion. That's how fast Vitor can end fights. John Jones! Vitor Belfort! Absolutely oh, right! That was amazing! Joseph Benavidez! Demetrius Johnson! Great action for these flyweights. Oh, he ran out to Brian Stan! Michael Bisping! As promised, Cal and Ohio State in Columbus, down 20 to 7 here. Cal responds, an amazing run. Brendan Bigelow, a whirling dervish, 81 yards he goes. Bigelow showing tremendous balance, keeps his feet and scores, somehow scores. I'd say Coach Tepper's team was ready to play today. The Bears really fought extremely hard, got all the way to the fourth quarter. Here's a quarterback getting in on the quarterback sneak. Zach Maynard plunges in 21-20 cap. Braxton Miller brings him back. Devin Smith down the sideline. Buckeyes win 35-20. Braxton Miller, Brent, he keeps getting comfortable, more comfortable each week with Coach Meyer's offense. This offense fits Braxton Miller. Dual threat quarterback in Braxton Miller and uh, maybe the best player. I mean, Urban Meyer feels like it's the perhaps the best guy he's been able to coach so far. That's what he says. He loves his feet, loves his legs. He uses that. And also, he's getting better throwing the football. And the defense gave up a few today, but you can tell that they're moving along. And as long as you keep winning, you're going to get better. In the loss, Keenan Allen, the fantastic wideout out there in the Pac-12 for Cal. He really put up big numbers, had 10 or so catches, nearly 100 yards in that game. And the quarterback, Zach Maynard, 
That's a tough loss. Remember, they lost to Nevada to open the season. You wonder what the mindset is of the team. They go on the road. Huge difference between losing that one mm -hmm. and stealing one at Ohio State today. Their mindset was right. You could tell Coach Tepfer had this team prepared and ready to go. Their mindset was ready to go. They had a chance and opportunity to win this game. If you go back and look, there are probably three or four plays that made the difference in this game where California could have won this ball game. All right, that Auburn game has gone final against Louisiana Monroe. And the little streak ends here for the Warhawks. It's a field goal game winner in overtime from 35 yards out. Auburn able to wrap it up right here. And boy, that's huge. At least for a moment, Gene Chiswick can breathe a sigh of relief. They get the first win, avoid their first 0-3 start since 1950. In overtime, they knock down the Warhawks 31-28 on that field goal. Louisiana Monroe, though. Mm. Colton Browning, more than 400 yards through the air last week. Puts up another nice game here today. They come up just short. You just can't say enough about them. I mean, <laughs> Todd Berry, th this group has done a tremendous job to go back-to-back -back weekends versus SEC opponents and be toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. You've got to give Louisiana Monroe Skyhawks all the credit in the world. Tremendous team. In the win, Ontario McCaleb. You talked about him last night on an SEC show. He would be be big, and he was. He and Trey Mason both uh, played well. 128 on the ground for McCaleb. Down in Fayetteville, the Arkansas-Auburn-Arkansas-Bama uh, game has kicked off, but six minutes deep. Scoreless game as Arkansas trying to bounce back from that bad loss last week and take down number one Tide. Text messaging can be a silent killer.